Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Well, not yet. We'll wait for some of you. Not right now, though. It's 3 a.m. Well, not here. It's 5 p.m. here. <laughs> not Halloween yet. Yeah, well, it is for some people. Welcome. Today, we're going to do something that is one of the most requested things since the last time we did this. And that is public domain movie night, where I find a bunch of movies that are currently in the public domain, queue them up, get ready to go, and we watch them. He's already talking during the movie's not on yet. You can talk during the time period where the lights are on in the movie theater. When the lights start to go down and the previews start, that's when it's time for, okay, put your phone on silent. Say the last thing you want to say to your friend or whoever you're with or whatever. What, what, what's my Halloween costume? I... Guys. Guys, I'm an adult. I don't wear Halloween costumes anymore. I'm too old. I can't, I, I can't. I can't, I'm too old to wear Halloween costumes now. Oh, just, just, just watch next year when I'm dressed up like a fucking pineapple, okay? I don't, what do you want me to, what do you want me to say? There was no availability. I can't get any. I was gonna go into the green screen. Uh, you've lied. I was gonna go into the bag of green screen costumes and just pick out like a wizard beard or something. But I was like, nah, I, I don't. I'm, we're watching movies. No, you don't have to see me. I don't have to be on camera. But there's no. I couldn't get anything. You actually lied. I want, I, I, look, I'm too old, I can't, I'm too old. I'm too old to dress up as a, I can't. I know, that's an incredibly bad excuse, and it's not even real. It doesn't matter, you can dress up whatever you want. Doesn't matter if you're like 30, 40, it's a great excuse to use, though. Like, I can use the excuse of, now, nah, guys, I'm getting a little older, a little, I'm a little too old for Halloween, I think I'm growing up a little bit. Oh, whoops, I almost shit my pants yesterday. I have to wash my mouth because the microphone, like, fart into the microphone thing, right? I'm aware of my contradictions. I, I'm aware of, of my childish contradictions. What really happened is I just, just didn't get one. That's it. What are you guys, what are you doing? Question marks for what? Fake fans? Well, you didn't watch the stream yesterday. I'm seeing a lot of question marks. A bunch of you guys just weren't here yesterday. <laughs> they don't know. Is he zonked right now? No. I was thinking about it. Because I, I'm still finishing an antibiotic. So I don't want to drink because that's you know to don't do that it's not really that's really bad for you um so i didn't want to like do that but i was thinking maybe i'll make sure i have a little bit because i think um i think cannabis is okay if you're on an antibiotic i don't know exactly so i wasn't like confident but uh, i was thinking about it but then i would probably just just go quiet oh it's your costume <laughs> I'll just okay. The whole point of these public domain movies is weird to watch them and enjoy them and like be able to talk and say things during some. If I do that, you're just gonna hear this for the rest of the night. <laughs> what is what is that? <laughs> it's gonna be awful content. You're not gonna like it.
The first, there's, okay, there are six movies we have to watch. I'm gonna tell you. I plan on skipping around a little bit because there are, it's, I don't think I'm gonna stream for 10 hours. So we, each one of these movies is, is more than an hour. So after the first, like, I'm not gonna, no, 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 you, I think you, you're not hearing me correctly. I'm not gonna skip through the movies. I'm gonna like, if there's a boring part, I'm just gonna do. I'm gonna go like 15 minutes ahead. You know what I mean? But we're only doing that if we're pressed for time, like six hours from now. So, no, I'm not talking about right now. I'm talking like six or seven hours from now when we're on movie like six or seven, and it's like, all right, we gotta. It's 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 getting late. Not right now. Don't skip. No, you, I'm not talking about just skip. Oh, yeah, let's open up a funny, like, old horror movie. And just, yeah, skip, skip, 10 minutes, 15, 20, 30, 40. Okay, that's where the guy got, like, attacked. Oh, no, skip, skip, skip. I'm not going to do that. I promise. Are you ready? Is everybody ready? Are you ready for the first movie? I don't know how many people are. Are we, are we, are we waiting for trickling in? got to wait a little bit. Can't just go. Wait two minutes? And if I have to pee, I'm gonna pause the movie, so. <laughs> Imagine going to a movie and somebody had to go to the bathroom. And they just pulled up a remote control and just paused. They stood up and they were like, everybody, I'll be right back. I just have to use the bathroom. And I might get a little bit of popcorn. Does that person get booed? Free popcorn refills. I don't know if that's ever gonna happen. <laughs> that's the plot to one? That's the plot to click. I think the plot to click was a little more than he just paused a movie. What if you have to go to the- what if you have to shit for 30 minutes? <laughs> the first movie we're gonna watch is about to start. I'm ready. I'm very excited. I am not zonked right now. Although, I don't know. If I go for like a pee break and I come back and I just go quiet for like an hour, then you know what happened. Okay? Be responsible. Take care of yourself. First movie we're gonna watch is *The Devil Bat* from 1940, starring Bella Lugosi. Um, I think we're ready to go. <laughs> By the way, I want to make this really clear: I don't know anything about any of these movies. The only thing I know is the titles and a brief tiny synopsis of like what it's kind of about, maybe? I don't know anything about these. Uh, if we could please give a, a round of applause to VR Josh, one of our mods. He helped out a lot with uh, sorting which ones may be better, which ones aren't. Because I had like a list of 20 to start. Uh, Josh helped out a lot, so. Thank VR Josh, please, if we could. Can we do predictions during the movies, why? Why would you want to do predictions? Maybe. Well, let us get through. Let us get through one first. You ready? Ready to go? Here's the Devil Bat, 1940, starring Bela Lugosi. I'm ready. Here we go. In three, two. Are you sitting down? Sit down. Sit down. Here we go. One. Two, three, the devil bat. Here we go. Producers, whatever. It's really loud. <laughs> ah! You're gonna do it again. Here it goes. <laughs> I 
All right, do a prediction. Are we gonna get one more of those? I won't do a prediction. <laughs> it's Looney Tunes. There's a lot of people in this movie. Holy shit. That bat has a tiny head. Are the heads that small? Oh, he loved Paul Carruthers, the kindly village doctor. No one suspected that in his home, laboratory on a hillside overlooking the magnificent estate of Martin Heath, the doctor found time to conduct certain private experiments. Weird, terrifying experiments. Yes. Ooh, almost overfilled it. Almost. I thought he was going to drink it. <laughs> ah, yes, my secret laboratory. In my Minecraft house. Where is he? Wait, he just went... Where is he? Oh, God. Ah, <laughs> oh, my friend. It's Our a theory of glandular stimulation through electric impulses was correct. That was a triple secret door. Few days ago, yeah. you were as small as your companion. And now look at you. Okay. It's a redstone door. <laughs> That's a long way to go. He could have that literally right there. Why does it have to be so far away? That's too far away. What? He's got another secret door? What the fuck? <laughs> this is scary. I, this is scary. It's actual electricity. Okay. So it's just it's Frankenstein with a bat. You know, somebody should tell all these mad scientists. What why did they think? Just shooting fucking hundreds of millions of volts of electricity into shit was gonna make him alive. What's the science here? This is just stupid. There's no, what, why, what's the point of this? They're just, you're just like gonna, you're gonna fry him. It's 
is gonna start cooking. It's moving. I mean, it's not. It's not a car battery. How is this thing still not being like electrocuted? Oh, I can't wait for the Muppet. Come on. I can't wait for like the Muppet hand. Come on. Do it. Please don't do it again. Is he gonna do it again? Imagine if 10 minutes of the movie was literally electrocuting a bat. Hello? This is Dr. Carruthers speaking. Yeah, this is Heath. Oh, uh, this Henry is Moore Heath. And I, I thought a little it... get together at my home tonight. I was like, who's the doctor? Want you to come. <laughs> yes, Why, this is him. It's nice of you, and I appreciate it. But I'm very busy working on a formula for a new shaving lotion. Oh, but Doc, this is my daughter's idea. And she's going to be awfully disappointed if you don't show up. Don't take no for an answer. Make him come. Yeah, you see, it's a sort of a, a special occasion. I bet Mary is going to announce her engagement to that young rascal, Don Morton. Tell her I'll be there. Goodbye. Well, it's all arranged. He's coming. He's going to be surprised when he finds a special occasion to present him with this bonus check. Ooh. $5,000. I hope he just slams one of these, don't you? Hey, okay. there's the strange, like, magical liquid. He's not gonna bring it with him, right? <laughs> that was a monkey. Good. That was not, that's not what a bat sounds you like. You have not forgotten. You hate this strange. Or that was a German sound. Even while you sleep, just as you did before, I made you big. Strong. <laughs> now, if you detect the fragrance in the night, then you're fully awake. <coughs> you will strike. <coughs> <coughs> yes, you will strike to kill. So, if you detect the fragrance. The Wonder if he's been called out on a case. Perhaps I'd better phone him. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I would Remember hate Remember Roy, it. Tommy. Everybody you smokes not inside. Anything about this bonus for the dot until after your father has presented it. Have you warned those two lovebirds over there? Perhaps I'd better. Everybody wore suits and smoked. I want to caution both of you. God, I imagine, you imagine the effort. I would, I would, I, I, I wouldn't exist. Just bring it on. Your father will make the presentation, Mary. Why don't you unveil it like a statue? Then we could all be in on it. You know, I think it'd be a better idea to put it in a bottle and uh, launch him with it. You must have gotten that idea out of a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> well, the doc isn't coming. What? Oh, what a shame. Oh, he just got busy with his new formula and forgot all about us. He'd forget the formula if he knew about that $5,000 check. Well, why don't we all go up there and give it to him? No, no, I wouldn't do that. He doesn't like visits when he's experimenting. Well, Roy can take the check up to him. That's... Sure, I'll take it. He's dead. Shall I make the doc a speech? When sure, I I'll go die first. You won't have to, Roy. You got any more cigarettes? It speaks for itself. I'm going to smoke at least five more before I die. Son, tell the doc we're awfully sorry he can't be with us. But of course we understand how busy he is. All right. Just a minute, Roy, and I'll be with you. Is that it all right? Now, what can I do for you? We were all sorry you couldn't be there tonight. Yes, yes, but you see, I'm busy. Something important, very important. Yes, of course. Mr. Morton and Dad had planned a little surprise for you. A surprise? It's in here. Well... Let's see what it is. Bonus check. Five thousand dollars. 
What's this for? Just a little token of the firm's appreciation. Oh, I see. A bonus. Well, it's awfully nice of you, Father and Mr. Morton. I will thank them personally tomorrow. I'll tell them, Doctor. Well, aren't you curious about my new formula? Yes, of course, only I didn't want to be in. Oh, no, no, don't, don't, don't do it. A new shaving lotion. He said anybody that smells like this is going to get attacked by the bat. strong, isn't it? No, no. The scent evaporates a short time after you've used it. Try a few drops. Now rub it on the tender part of your neck. Yeah. <laughs> Where are the juggler vanish? Why say tender part? That's weird. Soothing, isn't it? Yes. When will it be ready for the market? Oh, it's still in the experimental stage. I want to try it out on several people first and see if it works. Well, if you'd like to send me a bottle, I'll be glad to try it for you. Thanks. And now it's on his hands. It. He's fucked. It's on his hands. Bye, Roy. He's going to open the door to the bat. The bat's going to kill him. The movie ends in like 15 seconds. Lovely check, isn't it, Doctor? They are wealthy because of you. You made them rich, Doctor. It was your formula. Tonight, they gave you $5,000 and wanted you to come down to their house and thank them for Oh, it's it. an internal monologue. That was, it was like, who is this? money they gave you, like a bone tossed to a faithful dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the bat talking. That would be really, that would be awesome if it was. You should be very grateful, Doctor. Very grateful. They are rich and happy, thanks to you. And what have you got, Doctor? It's a low painting. That painting was like a foot off the ground. Do people do that? Tonight you have work to do. It's like the Can random footage of the way? real bat. Uh-oh. Wait, where is he? He's upstairs? I thought he was down in a basement or something. He, keep, he keeps going through so many doors. I don't even know where he is. He's like up in a residential house? It's up in the attic. Uh... He almost didn't make it through the window. His wings almost didn't make it. But Mary, tonight's a good time while our families are here to announce our engagement. Look, Don, I've loved you a long time. Yeah, why do you have so many of them? But I'm afraid it's been more like a sister. Well, I... I had no idea you felt that way. Uh-oh. He's gonna hit a power line. Oh shit. <laughs> that was way bigger than the thing hanging upside down. I better call Dr. Brothers. Oh, please hurry. There's nothing I can do. You mean he's dead? Yes, I better call the coroner. You think it's murder? I don't know. I never saw anything <laughs> like it before. The juggler vein is severed. <laughs> this was scary to boomers. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but hold on a minute. If you went back in time 
to like the 1200s with a lighter. Johnny Layton in here. If you just had a lighter and you went flick, 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 they would they would just attack you and they would think you were a fucking magician. You understand? Well, like uh, it's what perspective. Have I done now? Who, who wants to be fired this time? Nobody yet, but it's still early. This came in from Heathville. It's a mystery killing. Old Martin Heath's son. Who's Martin Heath? Who's Martin Heath? Say, have you ever had a date with a girl? A girl? Oh, yes, a girl. I believe I did take a girl out once. Well, did she smell <laughs> sweet? I uh, did. Of course she smells sweet. Most girls do. Well, that's because of Martin Heath cosmetic does it, women. Does it have like a Riddler tie? all that goo that the women put on their faces so they won't have to wash them with soap and water. Hmm, I get it. A big man, huh? Yes, and a big advertising account. Grab yourself a photographer and get along over there to Heathville. The coroner's holding an inquest. Find out who really killed old man Heath's son. <laughs> okay, McGinty, I'm on my way. Uh. All right, we're back in Heathville. Chief Wilkins? Yeah. I'm Johnny Layton of the Chicago Register. A big magnifying glass. That's how you know he's a detective. My cameraman, one shot McGuire. Hi, Chief. Howdy. Say, we're down here to cover that Heath murder, but we uh, didn't get much information at the coroner's inquest. I uh, thought maybe you might be able to help us. Well, I'm always glad to cooperate with the newspapers, providing they cooperate with me. That's the policy of our paper. Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't got very far with this thing myself. Oh, here's something that might interest you. It's a Bonus check. picture of the victim's wounds. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to see it better with this glass. Uh, why can't you just look at the guy? Are these scratches on the neck and shoulders? Why, yeah. Don't they still have the body? But, uh, we can't determine the source. They're too deep for fingernails, too shallow to have been made by knife. They're more like claws. That sort of bears out Dr. Crothers' theory at the end. He's not even looking at it. How does he see animal. that? Don't you have to look, hold up your face? Have there been any circuses around here lately? Do no. I not? I don't know how magnifying glasses Heard work. I've never used one. escaping from a zoo? No. Couldn't have been one of those African leopard men. They use steel claws. You have, do you have to, like, this hold it up Africa. to your eye? Okay, Chief. I was just trying to help. Chief, are you uh, sure there's no clue you're holding back while investigating? No, you hold. You, well, don't, you don't have to hold it close. Since you're going to work with me on this case, there is a clue. And a very weird one. Ooh. The autopsy surgeon says that such wounds could have been made by the beak and talons of a bird. A bird? That's wrong, because it was a bat. Well, there aren't any <laughs> birds around here big enough to attack a man. How about an eagle? We know it wasn't a bird. How do you know that? Because we found several hairs on the shoulder of Heath's coat. Ah, chouchet la femme. They're not human hairs. What kind are they? Well, it may sound silly, but the laboratory test shows that they were from a mouse. <laughs> Who ever heard of a mouse big <laughs> enough to wrong. kill a man? I think it's a bird. Yeah, I think it's a mouse. Like a mouse. I don't know. It's not well, human, though. Only bats around here are no bigger than sparrows. There was a peculiar odor about the wound. But they were so faint and elusive that the police chemists have been unable to identify it. Then it does give us something to work on. Well, if the scent was a clue, it's been destroyed by evaporation. Say, uh, Chief, do you uh, mind if I do a little sleuthing around on my own Flying account? rat. Certainly not. Go ahead. If I can help you any, why, uh... You can. Oh, what? Miss Heath seems to be the nearest to an eyewitness of the crime. I'd like to have a talk with her. Can you arrange it? I think I can. Well, Dr. Crothers refused to let her speak to us. We tried that this morning at the inquest. <laughs> we melted the guy and the smell evaporated? Crothers. He's one of the finest men in Heathville. He just thought you'd add to Mary's grief so you could get sensational newspaper stories. I'll arrange an interview. Thanks, Chief. I'll uh, keep in touch with you. All right. Uh, 48J. 48J? Miss Heath. I, I want to see what she saw. I that you know of. I know. Everybody in the village liked Roy. Mm -hmm. Well, what did he do at the factory? He had charge of the experimental department where the new products are developed. Oh, here comes Dr. Crothers. Hello, Doctor. Hello, Mary. I took a shortcut from my laboratory through the garden hedge. You met Dr. Crothers at the inquest this morning. Yes. Uh, Mr. Layton, I hope you'll forgive me if I seemed a little abrupt. But I'm fond of Mary. And considering the ordeal she already went through, I wanted to protect her from dwelling too much of a tragedy. Of course. You were quite right. Uh, we're working on the case for the police now. Yes, I understand. Chief Wilkins phoned me. And if I can be of any assistance, 
Just call on me. Thanks. Won't you sit down? Oh, what do they what do they got? Tea? Shall I serve Mademoiselle? No, Maxine, I'll do it. You may go now. We met myself. You take sugar, Mr. Porter's freelancing as police detectives. Oh no, ma'am, never. In fact, I don't even take tea. If you'll just deal me out, I'll take a look around. I may dig up a clue. Well, he doesn't drink. He doesn't drink tea or like coffee or what? What is it? What do you think of Dr. Crothers' theory about a wild animal, Mr. Layton? Well, frankly, He's dead. I don't think much of it. I can't say that I blame you. But I, as a scientist, take many things into consideration a layman might overlook. For instance, the jagged nature of the wound, the rapidity with which the murderer escaped, the scratches from talons or claws. But when an animal attacks a human, there's bound to be a lot of noise. You heard Miss Heath testify there was no sound of a struggle. No. Only those awful screams. You could play this through a radio and it would positive. you'd get the same effect. Very mystifying. Doctor, when you last saw Roy, did he seem worried or nervous or moody? No, not at all. On the contrary. He was in the best of spirits. Mm -hmm. Well, I've got to get back to the village now and follow my story. You'll excuse me? If you find it necessary for us yeah, to I talk again, she saw you it, come though. back at any time. Didn't evening, she see it? all right with you, I'd like to spend some time here. Why, yes, that'll be quite all right. Thank you. Goodbye, Miss Heath. Goodbye. Goodbye, Doctor. Uh, a little more chiffon, baby. Oh, you're like, he, 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 one picture. Stand. One picture, oh, Andy. You know what I mean. A little more you're stocking. Uh, like these? Sure, I like them. Who wouldn't? Now, hold nice and still, because this is going to take a little time. What? Yeah, just... Well, if you're going to shoot, shoot. Uh, uh, right away, Johnny. Uh, I was just trying to get the focus. Mm -hmm. I got it. And not bad either. How does he know? Back in a minute, it took like six weeks to develop wills, photos back then. Nothing's gonna harm you. you don't know what I'm it looks like. You. That shit was you blurry as fuck. So calm. His finger was in front Fatigue, of the lens. <laughs> This is my idea of nothing at all. Sitting here waiting for an animal to give us an argument. I can't do it. I, this guy's going to get bit. Moon. I can't wait. Mm. And I had a date with Frenchie. Oh, stop crabbing. We're supposed to solve a murder. You, uh... Beep, you brave journalist. <laughs> <laughs> what? This is the first time I've ever been invited anywhere and asked not to shave until after I get there. I wanted to observe your exact reaction when you tried the lotion. Oh, now I understand. Well, well that was implying he just put all those clothes on. Before turning it over to you to be marketed. What's up with that? I, I, every, like, 40s and 50s actor, they're always, every time a scene opens, it looks Most like they strong. just put all their That'll clothes on. The customers think they're getting their money's worth. They, like, are putting their jacket up and their tie and they're it shifting their great. elbows around. It's like you just Very put all soon. these clothes on. They do that I in every think scene. I don't you ever use anything else. Well, we wouldn't want to market anything. We wouldn't use ourselves. Yes, yes. Put it in your eyes. Good enough to be used as a Put it up your nose, too. Oh, what's the matter, Doc? Can't you stand your own lotion? I have a violent dislike for perfumes. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, Tommy. <laughs> he's he's Bye, touching it. Goodbye, Tommy. <laughs> He's got plot armor, though. Yeah, that's true. All right, send out, send out the bats. All right, what happens to this guy? I still don't understand why so many of them come out. Only one of them does this. Hey, what's that? Where? Over there, something's moving. <laughs> Come on, he's, out of he's there, a gun. You are. What are you doing out here, Miss Heath? I thought you might want some company. Aren't they at down. somebody's house? 
Why would you pull a gun out if you're in somebody's backyard? You be wandering around the garden at night. Wouldn't it be? What's happened? I don't understand. Neither should you. Well, but it's part of my job. Mine too. Roy was my brother. Be careful! I think it's Tommy. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Every, every interaction with a human, the gun comes out. What's up, out. sis? Mr. Layton wanted to stay in the garden for a while, so I joined him. Don't tell me you're waiting for that animal Dr. Carruthers mentioned. So you don't believe it either? I certainly do not. It's ridiculous. But somebody or something killed your brother. And I suppose you're working on the theory that the murderer always returns to the scene of the crime. Perhaps I am. Well, not for me. I think it's him. If you'll take my advice, Mary, you'll leave these gentlemen to their vigil and go to bed. That's what I'm going to do. Good night. Good night, Tommy. I uh, don't think your brother likes my being here. Oh, you mustn't mind, Tommy. We're all terribly upset. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you missed him. Help! Tommy! Come on. Help! Pick up a chair. Pick up a chair and start swinging. Help! Oh, shit. No, this isn't a person. I don't know how to shoot. Why is he looking at that like it... He looked at the gun like he was surprised that bullets Tommy. came out of it. Listen, Johnny, I want you and one shot to come on home or I'll fire both of you. He was like, holy shit, this I'm thing not works. Home and neither is one shot. I'm keeping him here to get a picture of the devil bat. Say, that'll look great in the headlines. Devil bat strikes again. Listen, don't tell me it had horns. Maybe I better send a wagon with the steel bars and the strong boys with the straight jackets. Look, Joe, have I ever lied to you? Plenty of times. Well, I'm not lying this time. If it ever got out that I cooked up a fake story about a devil bat, I wouldn't be able to get a job on a country weekly. Press this is the, the YouTuber story, voice of the 1940s, by the way. On the level. That was All a right, eureka effect above my head. But I won't believe it. Not till one shot gets me a picture of that devil bat in action. Don't worry, he'll get it. Goodbye. You, my friend, are going to get a shot of the devil bat in action. Who, me? How? Have you uh, noticed there's a taxidermist shop in the village? Well, you wouldn't suggest that I go out and stuff a bird, would you? One shot. To think that you would even hint that I would suggest you have the village taxidermist build you a nice big bat for pictorial purposes. We want pictures Besides of Spider-Man. Besides it's a mammal. <laughs> well, why didn't you say so in the first place? Where is this bird stuff in the Emporium? <laughs> oh, down on Cottage Grove Avenue. Mysterious devil bat kills Thomas Heath. Villagers live in fear of the devil bat. Thomas Heath falls victim to monster. Who will be the next victim? Villagers cringe in terror of murder. Uh oh. If something says experimental aftershave lotion, don't buy it. But there's like a thousand other brands that are not experimental that do the same thing. That strikes again. You posted cringe. <laughs> oh, wait, what is this? That's the now, same the idea, prop. Frenchie. You hang on to the bat till I get my camera set up. And when I raise my hand, you give the bat a good shove. It'll swing out just like it's flying. Then I can get a swell picture from a boss. Get it? Me. Oui. It I actually is no. get a picture of Spider-Man. No. But hang on to the bat until I raise my hand, huh? <laughs> Uh-oh. They even go hunting in suits. 
Did people in the 40s go to sleep? Take baths? Take showers in suits? Wait, did it shoot? What the fuck? Sherry, are you hurt? <laughs> Say, what's the idea of breaking up my devil bath? I'm gonna make you pay for that. that I'm so gonna take loud. you to jail until you explain this. Come on. You, you can't do this to I'm me. I'm doing it. I was just conducting a little experiment, trying to find out how the devil bat does his killing. I'm uh, sure McGuire didn't intend doing anything wrong. He's uh, just a little overzealous about his work. I can't imagine well, with the town and an uproar, needing to wear a suit to go grocery shopping. Everybody shopper. terror wondering whether he's yeah. going to be the next victim. Fuck I don't that. want any more trouble stirred up. That sucks. Even it really does. No. You'd uh, better get back to the hotel. I want to talk to the chief alone. I'm so glad that right, friend sir? is gone. Yeah, be careful in the future. Ever smelled anything like this before? Well, yes. That's the same stuff that's been on every one of the Devil Bat's victims. Where'd you get it? Found it in Don Morton's bathroom. Find out where Morton got it? No, I didn't want to arouse suspicion by asking questions till after it's been analyzed. You think it has any connection with the murders? That's the way it strikes me, but I, uh, I can't figure out how. Well, I'll get the police chemist on it right away. I'll snoop around and see if I can find out where Morton got it. Do you have any more health sticks? Well, it probably came from down at the Heath Cosmetic plant. I've men working on a theory of a disgruntled factory employee... Who's smoking that crimes. cigarette? Do you see this? What, do you see the smoke? It's certainly more than coincidental that all the victims have been members of the Heath and Morton families. Who has that? Yeah. Oh, shit. Looks I like thought he was just on fire. All out. I uh, wish the rest of them would leave town until this crime is solved. You're worried about Mary, aren't you? Well, yes. I've been urging her to leave, but she won't go without so her So nonchalant, too. Like, he, he could just burn his suit. Look at how he's twirling it around Worse like it's a toy. That, neither Heath nor Morton is it in his pocket? A bodyguard. I guess we'll just have to wait for something. He pulls it out of his pocket. Oh, yeah. Let me take it. take a haul of this one. Boy, if I got a picture, it'll knock my ginty dead. Meet the double bat. Well, how about that wire? Looks as if the bat's on a flying trapeze. Oh, but I'm not through working on it yet. See, I can touch this picture up so the bat will look like he's got nothing around him but nothing. <laughs> Okay, oh. Rembrandt, you win. Is they talking about photoshopping? How did they do that? This is your news commentator, Walter King. Tonight we're broadcasting from the little village of Heathville, where an alleged devil bat has claimed three victims during the past six weeks. You will note that I say alleged devil bat. That, ladies and gentlemen, is because your correspondent has been very skeptical from the start as to the existence of this horrendous creature. I have as my guest in the studio tonight Professor Percival Garland Rains. Perhaps the world's greatest authority on animal life. And he's going, going to sing to us a song. Professor Raines on the subject of the devil bat. Our radio audience may draw its own conclusions. Professor Raines, first let me ask you, point blank, do you believe that any such creature as the devil bat exists? I do not. He's got a nerve. Quiet. In the dark ages, when men and women lived in caves, there may have existed a bat of this size. But not in this day and age. No. How do you account for the, the man with an accent Mary like mine? Whose two mm. brothers were victims no, 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 he cannot bat, be in this movie. And a newspaper reporter, John Layton, claimed to have seen this amazing creature. Sometimes, under stress of excitement, our minds play tricks on us. Hey, he's insinuating you saw the little bat that wasn't there. Pipe down. But how about the picture of the devil bat published by Mr. Layton's paper? I examined that picture under a powerful magnifying glass. I denounce it as a fraud. Whoever constructed the strange-looking monster forgot to remove a label from the silk. From the silk used on its left wing. That label reads, Made in Japan. Put through a hurry call to Heathville. I want to talk to Johnny Layton. He's at the Heathville Hotel. One guess <laughs> Just that put a, is. Yeah, a label on it? Go ahead, pour it on. So you slipped over a fake picture on me, huh? Well, you're fired, both of you. And I'll see to it that you never work on another newspaper as long as I live. Made in Japan. You tell one-shot McGuire he ought to be snapping photos in a booby hatch. 
Both of you, come on in and get your final checks. Oh, no. We're not coming in to get anything. All right, so we're fired. But we're staying here just the same. I saw that bat. We're going to stay here till we catch that bat, and when we do, I'm going to bring it in and stuff it down your throat. Goodbye. Even trying to be aggressive, he just sounds so happy and just nice. Well, that, we're like, fired. Mm-hmm. Back in the okay. 40s, like, you, you just talked about literally murdering that guy I with an animal. Him back to choking him to death now with you it. give him a good scare. And it sounds like he was uh, happy of my, no my straight A's in, in high school. You fired us and we're staying fired. Oh, oh, Mary, I, I thought it was somebody else. Johnny, why did you make a joke of a tragic thing like this? But it wasn't intended as a joke, Mary. I was only trying to get the news. I suppose you call it getting the news when you arrange to print a picture that's a deliberate hoax that has the entire country laughing. A grand joke, Johnny, but somehow I can't appreciate it. But I can explain that picture. Don't try, Johnny. Okay, do you think with like the like no one's looking, and they're not like they don't have to do the, kind of that the YouTuber voice? Made in Japan. I ought to skin you alive and nail your hide to a barn door. But that was aggressive. That was aggressive. That was actually pretty. That sounded pretty mean. Here's that was the, the meanest we've heard. On that shaving lotion. I see he couldn't break down one of the ingredients. Yes, he said it must be some element with which he's not familiar. We won't get anywhere until we identify it. There's just one other man in this town that might be able to help us. Dr. Carruthers. Yeah, Carruthers could help us. I found out he compounded that lotion. Well, if you suspect Carruthers, you're barking up the wrong tree, Johnny. He's the last man in this town that would harm anyone. Oh, I'm just sitting out here Why, waiting for my mother. You. Maybe so. Yeah, that accent. But here's something else I dug up. You want a Coca-Cola? The Heath and Morton fortunes are based on a greaseless cold cream formula Dr. Carruthers invented. So what? All the doctor got out of it was $10,000, and the others made a fortune. Well, it's common knowledge that he sold out for cash when he could have had an interest in the firm. Just the same, every victim had this stuff from his laboratory on him. Maybe you've been working too hard on this case, Johnny. I'd like to get his reaction on the stuff. If he denies knowing anything about it, we'll know there's a tie-up somewhere. This real evidence. Who cares, Just right? Just to show you that I'm following up every clue, we'll talk to him. We'll, uh... Put this in another bottle, and without telling him we know, he compounded it. Ask him to analyze it. Doc, I hope we're not upsetting your work barging in on you this way. No, no, not at all. I'm anxious to help solve these crimes. All the victims were very dear friends of mine. Here's a sample of the stuff young Morton and the two Heath boys had on them when they were yeah, attacked. Yeah, they were the fired, right? Of course, it doesn't make sense to me that a bird would choose only people using that particular stuff. A bat is not a bird. Oh, it's a shit. Mammal. Well, anyway, our police chemist couldn't break down one of the ingredients. We thought perhaps you could. Isn't that enough to be like, why, why do you think it's a bat? Why? I compounded this myself. It's a new shaving lotion I'm experimenting with. The ingredient your chemist couldn't break down, I discovered years ago in Tibet. How did you happen to put it in a shaving lotion? Oh, the lamas use it in some of their religious rites as a perfume. The scent is very pleasant can't be imitated by competitors. But what were Don Morton and the two Heath boys doing with the stuff? Oh, it is the policy of our firm to try out any new product before marketing it. Well, also very suspicious of you. That knocks our we don't have a hat into a cocked hat. Yeah. Nothing. We were hoping the unknown ingredient might turn out to be some sort of a clue. This isn't the kind of bottle I give it out in. But I presume your chemist changed it when making the analysis. Yeah. Is there anything else I can do to help? Tell me, did you hear Professor Raines on the radio last night? Yes. It was very interesting and very asinine. You mean you believe there is a devil bat? Why not? You saw it, didn't you? Well, sure I did. So did Mary. Then why worry about what one scientist says? <laughs> that uh, one scientist got me fired. Oh. You mean uh, your newspaper discharged you? That's right. Oh, that's too bad. Then you're believing Heathsville before the mystery is solved. I'm afraid not. I'm going to stay here and work with the chief. Since you're going to stay here for a while, 
I would like you to try out a bottle of the new lotion and tell me how you like it. Why is he such a dick, though? I don't understand. No, no, not me, Doc. If my wife ever smelled perfume on me, she'd suspect me, sure. <laughs> Why is he doing well, this to Mr. Layton, I understand you are not married. All right, I'll try it in the morning when I shave. Like, what has he deciphered from this guy to that's like, I, you need to die, die now? Right? So like, why Prevett? is he doing this? Is it just Goodbye. evil? He's having a conversation with this guy, and he's like, mutually respectful here. And it's like, oh, no, you have to die now. Because he's being investigated by him? What's the matter? What's the matter? Does that uh, smelly shaving lotion put yeah, you to but... sleep? Well, why'd you tell the doc you're going to use it if you think it's smelly? Oh, I don't know. I uh, guess I was a little ashamed of ever suspecting the old duck. Well, I like it, and I'm going to tell him so. Uh, what time is it? After midnight. Midnight? Oh, there ain't no use of waiting around here any longer. This must be the bat's night off. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. Get that camera ready. Shoot it! Look out! <laughs> you got him. Listen, Johnny, I'm gonna cook that bread personally for McGinney. And I'll even stuff it myself. <laughs> he shot him. Like, why was there so many pauses between the shooting? And he had a stone cold face. No reactions, just stone faced, hip firing at his friend. He's just hip firing at his friend who's on the ground with a stone face. I came to Heathville today to examine the body of this so-called devil bat. That was a Chad move? But after seeing it personally and making exhaustive research... I've they called him one-shot McGuire, but he had to shoot four times. <laughs> ...of a type of giant bat which existed in great numbers during the early part of the Neolithic age. I'm also of the opinion that the other kind of like After dorky guy choked him some of our to death and he didn't get the shot and the guy just missed four times. Is that period of antiquity commonly called the Stone Age? <laughs> Imbecile, bombastic ignoramus. He's still doing all this though, so what happens to him? Oh, McGuire was a different, was the other guy, the camera guy. Oh. I hope it just blows up in his face. but uh, one shot and I are not interested at your prices. Of course, if there was a raise of, say, twenty... Uh, Thirty. Thirty dollars plus a fat bonus, we might consider it. Your hold-up, men, both of you. I refuse to be robbed. Have it your way, McGinty, have it your way, but uh, we have the bat's corpus delecti and the exclusive picture. Of course, I've got an eyewitness story that two syndicates are bidding for. And don't forget, you gotta pay us for the time we were fired. That's better. Now you're That'd be really boss. loud. Okay, we're working for you again. We'll gather up the loose ends and see you in a couple of days. Goodbye. That's the equivalent ah. of me leaning into the mic and doing that. Come in. And don't forget, we're not going to do it. Unless... Johnny, I came to tell you that I'm sorry I said what I did the last time we talked. Do you suppose... <laughs> well, I don't know how to say it, but... I do. Uh, uh, Miss Heath, uh, do you suppose that little French girl would apologize to me if I looked her up? Positive she would. <laughs> oh, 
Doctor, it's strange that you have a uh, $1,200 a month electric bill in the 40s, which should be six cents. Can you explain that? It's his gaming PC. I think it's just going to attack him, right? That's how the movie ends. Splendid. You will be even greater than your unfortunate predecessor. Enraged, aren't you? Fine. I'm enraged also. Tonight I shall call on Henry Morton, and you shall strike him down. Uh oh. Henry, the lotion has turned out to be better than I had hoped. I want you to try it. Well, well, just leave it here, Doc, and then I'll try it in the morning after shaving. So this one, this one, this guy has his own done. lotion. Yes, a little ghost, he goes up to go to the strong. bathroom and he swaps him. No, no. Evaporation quickly tones it down just to the right scent. Rub a few drops on your face. Well, I'd rather wait until after I shave. Then my skin will be more tender and receptive to a lotion. Uh, well, uh, just a little here. The texture of the skin there is always very delicate. I give you a few, few drops in your hand. I hope you're right about that scent evaporating quickly. I smell the high heavens. Perhaps that will be the secret of its success. Well, you can never tell what's going to happen in this business. You can believe me, Henry. You don't have to worry. Yes, I can believe that, Doc. All of your formulas have been highly successful. He is indoors, that's oh, right. I'm going over the report to the company's annual earnings. A net profit of over a million dollars. Not bad, eh? When you remember what we built on. A mere $10,000 for your formula. You shouldn't have demanded all cash, Doc. You should have ridden along with us. Then you'd be rich, too. Now, well, then, you've had a lot of fun in your laboratory with your experiments, dreaming up something new. You're a dreamer, Doc. Too much money is bad for dreamers. So you try to pay me in flattery, telling me that I'm a dreamer. Well, I do dream. Dreams that you could never guess. That's kind of Your <laughs> nerves are afraid, Doc. Now calm down. Get a grip on yourself. No real specifics. You've been working sir. too hard on your formula. Formula. That's but child's play for a great scientist. Your brain is too feeble to conceive what I have accomplished in the realm of science. Doc, you've made some great scientific discovery. What is it? Then you'll find out, Henry. It'll be too late for you. Oh, come, come, Doc. You can't pretend to control a man's destiny. I've already proved it three times. It's gonna come in the window, isn't it? I hope so. I'm sorry. Now, I built this company. Perhaps you're right, Henry, about my working too hard. I guess I'm a little tired. I better go home and get some rest. Sure. A night's sleep will do you good. Good night, Doc. Goodbye, Henry. Here comes an imposter moment. What does that mean? 36J. Hello? Oh, that's you, Martin? 
Yes, Henry. I want you to call Chief of Police Wilkins to come to your house immediately. It's very important. Chief's here now. Well, don't let him leave until I get there. What on earth happened? I think I've got a clue to all those murders. It may peter out, but if half what I suspect is true, it's the most diabolical plot that a madman ever concocted. What is it? Just wait. I'll tell you in five seconds. Talk about the absent-minded professor. I forgot my hat. <gasps> oh, no. Henry, what is it? I'll tell you all about it when I get there. Yeah, I'll tell you later. I hope I didn't intrude on a private conversation. <laughs> no, nothing important. I don't understand that trope. I'm the only one that knows this information. And I this guy's a killer and I'll die. But no, no, I'll tell you uh, next Monday when we have lunch. Just tell him now. Hey, the murderer is literally here. It's uh, it's bats and he's putting perfume on people. I saw him vent. <laughs> okay. Yes, that's right. Bella Lagosi is here and I saw him vent. He was an admin. And I know that because I was an admin. And I did all my tasks. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's in the trunk of the car. I was going to say, no way. Don't you feel like killing him in the office would have like just hit him in the head as hard as you can with your cane? Wouldn't this you can this is really convoluted. I hope Henry was right about having a clue. But why didn't he explain more about it when he phoned? When I insisted, he changed his tone as if he'd been interrupted. I was afraid that he might be overheard. Oh, R2! Was that squeaky sound? Come on, R2! Oh, just some you can noise. fix the ship! Help! What happened? Oh, he got bit. Flying monster slays Heathville man. Oh no, a second monster bat slays Heathville man. It's starting over again. New bat appearing. Henry Morton, fourth victim of the devil bat. Ever rises new as monster strikes again. How does this movie end? I feel much better, Mr. Heath, since you ask us to stay in your home until this new devil bat has been killed. I've been worried about Mary. What reason have you to believe that Mary is in danger? Only this. I'm convinced that someone is using the bat to wipe out the entire Heath and Morton families. As a scientist, I assure you, the thought of a human controlling a bat is fantastic. Just the same, no villager has been killed or even attacked. You're forgetting, aren't you, that Mr. McGuire was attacked. He's not a member of either family. Why, I'm practically a member of this family already. I'm going to marry Miss Heath's maid. Oh, really? <laughs> well, boys, I'll have Maxine show you to your room. I you. must be running along home. It's past my bedtime. Good night, gentlemen. Good night, Good night Martin. Good night, Doc. Good night, Doc. Boring living room. Where's the fucking TV? Goodbye, madam. Come along. <laughs> true. No, that was Maxine? not true. It was today. stupid what I just said. Do you feel my perfume bottles with something new? Oh, no, mademoiselle. I never touch your perfume. It's funny. I don't recognize it. Perhaps Dad filled them as a surprise. He always does that with every new perfume the plant puts out. Is there anything else? No, Maxine, that's all. Good night. Good night, mademoiselle. Yeah, uh-oh.
I love how it's like a new round. The bat spawns. It's gonna hit the window. Please hit the window. to get in the window. A big bat. Oh, it was awful. Uh-oh. Mary, I want you to tell me everything you did just before that bat tried to get in. Well, first I took a bath. Then I brushed my hair, and Maxine Exposed. came in and took the covers down. And then fastened the screen, which somehow had come unhooked. Yeah? Go ahead, what else? Well, uh, then we talked about some new perfume that Someone had put in my dressing table bottles. Dad, did you put any new perfume in my bottles? No, I didn't. Is that the stuff? Yes. Tony, this smells like... Hey, quiet. I've got a hunch that I want to follow up. And I'll need everybody's cooperation. We'll do everything we can. Of course. But again, don't tell anybody. What's Carruthers' number? 48J. Be the only person with the information and die. Operator, give me 48J, please. Hello, Dr. Carruthers. This is Johnny Layton. That's right. Something terrible has happened to Mary. Can you hurry over? I'll be right there. Oh, Good. I see. Oh, it's Johnny. I'm all right. Yep, I don't that's, need a, a that's a 500 IQ play. Part comes in, Mary. You'll have to pretend to be a nervous wreck. Mr. Heath, you and one shot must help her trick Dr. Carruthers into staying here as long as you can. Where are you going, Johnny? To uh, do a little private bat hunting. Find, he's gonna find the button. You're gonna find the way to get him. How did he get in his house? Yeah. Devil bat, try to get through that window. If she's suffering from fright, I give her a sedative. Where's Mr. Layton? Why, well, I, I guess he's out in the garden hunting the devil bat. Layton is a very brave young man. Give Miss Heath one of these every half an hour. We, oui, Doctor. It will quieten her nerves. But Why does it smell like your perfume? She's quieter. She'll be all right in the morning. <laughs> hey, Except with the perfume. I don't feel so good myself. Would you mind taking my temperature? You look perfectly well, Mr. McGuire. Well, you ought to see my tongue. It looks just like a squirrel's tail. Look. Oh. Try some calomel. He's going to inject perfume into her veins. This is Boomer Death Note. <laughs> Stupid. Uh. <laughs> I think we have to stamp like that. That's like a 10 out of 10 one guy chat comment right there. That was unbelievably funny. basket that basket over there everybody has one of those everybody's parents have one of those I swear I feel like there's three of those in, at my parents right now boomer they basket have visit us tonight and it would be dangerous for me if they found you here So does he shoot him? 
I don't think so. I think he's going to get the lotion all over him. It's going to splash all over him. Uh, in some incredible irony, he's going to be eaten and killed by his own creation. That's what I think. No one's going to see it coming. Or that the main character will have the opportunity to shoot him with the gun, but instead, for like a cool movie, he'll instead of shoot him, he'll throw the perfume on him. Hi, Doc. I hope I'm not intruding. No, no, not at all. I heard you're out. Stalking the devil bat. Any success? No, but I uh, thought maybe you might be able to help me. Well, I don't see how that's possible, but, but if you can suggest anything... Doc, we need to talk about how your door is made out of well, paper mache. Well, you give me some more of that new concoction of yours. That shaving lotion. But how on earth could that possibly help catch the devil bat? I've still got a crazy idea that if I douse myself with it, it might attract the killer. I don't see how you can connect the two. But there is a bottle of the lotion on the table. Thanks. Yeah, here it comes. What are you doing? You see, Doc? That was a fart in an elevator face. All four of the murdered people had this lotion on them when the devil bat struck. Now, my plan is to sit in the garden, and when the killer makes one of those power dives, I'll blast him. Leighton, I'm afraid all these murders have affected your mind. That was a Maybe you'd saucy like to come face. Along, and be an eyewitness. I'm sure it would be just a waste of time, but I'd be glad to watch your experiment. Good. I knew I could count on you to help me. I tell you, Leighton, expecting a bat to be attracted by the scent of a lotion is all foolishness. I think I better run along. Ah, sit down, Doc. The uh, Gun. devil bat's behind schedule tonight. You uh, aren't very chummy tonight. What's the matter? Uh, firearms always make me nervous. Oh, I thought maybe you didn't want to be sitting too close to me. Uh, just in case the devil bat does show up. According to your theory, the killer wouldn't attack me. I haven't any of that lotion on me. <laughs> you have now, Doc. Why did you do that? To make it a 50-50 proposition, Doc. Now sit down. Shoot him. And don't try any shenanigans. Shoot him. Not so funny when it's your own juggler vein that's in danger. He's flipping a coin. Is it, Doc? If the bat comes, what I, if it attacks him and kills him? What, you're talking about. what are you doing? Maybe you've made a mistake when you let that devil bat of yours out of the attic tonight. Don't worry about the bat killing you. I'm saving you for the hangman. Tell me, Doc, how did you uh, develop a monster bat like that? You wouldn't understand the scientific theory. Uh oh, here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you could have just shot him. What happens? He missed. Quick time event. Hello, Chief. What are you doing what? out here? <laughs> Young fellow, don't think that you're the only man working on this case. It was lucky I was here, too. Thanks. Did you kill the devil bat? No, he got away. Well, here's one bird that didn't get away, and he's the murderer we've both been looking for. <laughs> Quick, shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
How many people are shooting at this? Where is it? It's gone. And so's the doctor. What are they doing? What happened? This is Dr. just Rothers like is game NPC he AI. In the garden. You fellas get back to the house and guard Mary. I feel like the same shit happened in like Far Cry 3. Come on. Like, I'm Bella Lugosi, and I can just get the fuck away. Doctor! Dr. Crothers! Doctor! Has anything happened to Johnny? Is he hurt? They took him up to my place. You better come along with me. Oblivion NPCs. Yeah. Long for the doctor, Mary. He created it to commit those murders. Well, it's too late to help the doc. <laughs> that's it? That's the that's it? Wait, what? Old popcorn <laughs> advertising. That's it? It was Mary. There's no epilogue to this? This is literally it. We don't even know who's shooting at him. Are you alright, Mary? Go help Dr. Carruthers, he's over there. That devil bat belonged to the doctor, Mary. He created it to commit those murders. Well, it's too late to help the doc. That's the end. Okay, that was uh, that was Devil Bat, uh, the Devil Bat. Okay, I'm, I, if I would have to rate that movie, I would give that movie a. Um, okay, if I saw that in the forties, that was probably like a seven point eight. Like it, maybe like an eight point oh. It was a scary bat. About in twenty twenty one. That's probably like a, a like a three. Which is still pretty good. I think it got two points instead of being a one. Because of the scream. I think the scream made it at least two points higher. Does this have any sequels? No, why would it have a sequel? It's not a devil bat franchise. Like there is Jason. That was hilarious. It has a sequel. It does. I don't think the sequel is in public domain, unfortunately. <laughs> yes, watch it. Well, let me look. I'll look into it. We'll see. Uh, but uh, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Uh, let's take a break. In between movies, we'll do like a little pee break, snack break in between movies. That was the devil bat. Uh, I want you to be surprised by the next one. I feel like the next one's going to be a big hit. That was a big hit, I think. I think the second one's going to be even bigger. I'll be right back. Go get a, go get a snack. Go pee. See you in a sec.
Sorry, I, I made another copy. No, I wasn't. I wasn't getting. I wasn't. No, that's not what's happening. Oh shit, the devil bat got him. <laughs> okay, let me make sure this is good to go. Coming up next, we have a, a movie, a classic. We're going to watch Vincent Price, House on Haunted Hill. The original from 1959. This is going to be a good one. <laughs> Can we wait 20 minutes? That's too long to wait. All right, you guys ready? Let me make sure this is playing correctly. I believe it is. Audio should be good. Okay, you ready? Here we go. House on Haunted Hill. Give me a sec, I'm getting popcorn. Well, let's go, go, go! Come on, come on, come on! We got like at least three to four more of these. Wait, I'm not ready. Well, I, I just was peeing for like five straight minutes. What do you mean you're not ready? <clears throat> Alright, here we go. No, don't be one of those people that goes to get popcorn. You sit down, you're just on your phone, sitting in the seat. Four previews have gone by. And then you decide it's time to get up and get a popcorn. No, you do that either before or right when the preview starts. Don't put, come on. You're gonna you're be the guy trickling in with like three popcorns 15 minutes into the movie? Three, two, one, go. House on Hunter Hill. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! What? That scared the shit out of me. I was not. <laughs> Is there something that's supposed to be playing right now? There's nothing on the screen. What the fuck? Their ghosts are moving tonight, restless, hungry. May I introduce myself? Mm-hmm. I'm Watson Pritchard. In just a minute, I'll show you the only really haunted house in the world. Well, that's not accurate. Since it was built a century ago, seven people, including my brother, have been murdered in it. Since then, I've owned the house. I've only spent one night there, and when they found me in the morning, I, I was almost dead. Whoa, okay. There he is. It's a surprise. I'm Frederick Lauren, and I've rented the house on Haunted Hill tonight so that my wife can give a party. A haunted house party. <laughs> She's so amusing. There'll be food and drink and ghosts and perhaps even a few murders. You're all invited. I don't want to go. If any of you will spend the next 12 hours in this house, I'll give you each $10,000 or your next of kin in case you don't survive. Ah, but here come our other guests. Please tell me this is where they address the camera and I'm, I'm supposed it to be a guest. It was my wife's idea to have our guests come in funeral cars. She's so amusing. Her sense of humor is, shall we say, original. I dreamed up the hearse. It's empty now, but after a night in the house on Haunted Hill, who knows? This is Lance Schroeder, a test pilot. So no doubt a brave man. But don't you think you can be much braver if you're paid for it? And I happen to know that Lance needs the 10,000 I'll give him. If he is he's not exhaled. brave enough to stay all night. He was holding that Mrs. in like Ruth he was taking Bridges. a rip of a bomb. You've no doubt read her column in the newspapers. 
She says her reason for coming to the party is to write a feature article on ghosts. She's also desperate for money. Gambles. You've already met Watson Pritchard, a man living in mortal fear of a house, and yet he is risking his life to spend another night here. <laughs> yeah. I wonder why. He says for money. This is Dr. David Trent, a psychiatrist. He claims that my ghost will help his work on hysteria. But don't you see a little touch of greed there? At the eyebrow. The mouth and eyes. This is Nora Manning. I picked her from the thousands of people who work for me because she needed the 10,000 more than most. Supports her whole family. Isn't she pretty? All of them claim to be es experts in red Marley's light, green light. Now. And you find have out. until midnight to find the house on Haunted Hill. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a Squid Game reference, right? Come on. I'm hip. I, I'm in. House? have to last the whole night and if you do you get ten thousand dollars so if everybody does then everybody gets ten thousand i want to know the rules can you leave or do you just actually get locked in here Can't get over the boomer death note comment. That was absolutely hysterical. I think I could do this if there were more people. Okay, if it was me alone, I would not be able to do it. But if there was more than five, six, seven people in the house... Well, where is everybody? I think I could do it. It isn't a very warm welcome, is it? Only the ghosts in this house are glad we're here. Are we all strangers to each other? Don't you two know each other? I'm afraid I don't even know your name. I'm Nora Manning. Lance Schroeder. Is Frederick Lauren a friend of yours? I've heard of him, but I've never met him. I work for one of his companies, but I've never seen him. I've never met the man either. Just a phone call. Do you know him? No. Well, then you're the only one of us who does. So who do, uh, I don't know him. It's him. He wins. All the details about running the house were done by mail. He's quite wealthy, isn't he? Millions. And uh, the intro. five wives, I believe. Four, I think, so far. A $50,000 party for only five people is a little steep, even for a millionaire. Well, if I were going to haunt anybody, this would certainly be the house I'd do it in. Who closed the door? No, nothing happened. This is the AC turned on. The 
This thing's made of solid steel. Jesus! Doesn't he want to go introduce himself? Annabelle. Our guests are here and fortunately still alive. Is your face on yet? Dust and dirt everywhere and the water barely trickles. Couldn't you have had the place cleaned? Atmosphere, darling. You know how ghosts are. They never tidy up. That's a very fetching outfit, but not said. suitable for a party. Walt I'm Disney. I'm going to the party. Mm, you spend uh. the night ghost party was your idea, remember? You guys have to understand, like, half of all men over 50 the in the 40s and 50s looked like Walt Disney, all okay? Guess. Why all these strangers? Why none of our friends? Friends? Is that haircut, the Do mustache? Do any friends? No, your jealousy took care of that. I had a reason for inviting each guest. I wanted kind of a cross-section. From psychiatrist Suit. to typist, and from drunk to jet pilot. They share one thing, they all need money. Now let's see if they're brave enough to earn it. And you call this a party? Could be. This is gonna be good, I can't wait. Why do you always do that? It spoils the champagne. It might explode. Never does. Would you guarantee that? That isn't funny, Frederick. Make a good headline. Playboy kills wife with champagne cork. Will you join me? No, thank you. Just a sip might improve your humor. My humor is fine, thanks. And I haven't poisoned it. It's always good to know that. I think germa humor. Have some. You'll enjoy the party more. I mean, Germa humor? What, is that? what does that have to do with me? Your trust is so touching. That's poor shit, by the way. The and I, I, the, the, like two tablespoons of champagne. But still alive. It's not. What the, why, what's the point? Would you go away for a million dollars tax free? You want it all, don't you? I deserve it all. Your jealousy isn't tax-free, and your possessiveness is maddening. If ever a man had grounds for divorce. But can't prove them. The yeah, champagne's comes. disgusting. It tastes like fucking stomach acid. You'll slip up one of these It's days. the worst alcohol. Think so? If I live long enough. You remember the fun we had when you poisoned me? <laughs> Something you ate, the doctor said. Yes, arsenic on the rocks. Annabelle. What the? You'd do it again if you thought you could get away with it, wouldn't you? Darling, what makes you think that? Something about you. I hear that hanging is very uncomfortable in case you get any more ideas. I've eaten McDonald's, had a wet Don't burp, the ghosts and, the ghouls. and it had better yeah. notes than some of the best champagne Darling, I've ever had. The only ghoul in the house is you. And don't sit up all night thinking of ways to get rid of me. It makes wrinkles. I mean, he just said, bro. <laughs> this is what she used on my brother and her sister. Hacked them to pieces. We found parts of the bodies all over the house. In places you wouldn't think. The funny thing is the heads have never been found. Hands and feet and things like that, but no heads. The wife, probably in a rage, threatened her husband with a knife and then, carried away by hysteria, took a swing at him and simply went on from there. <laughs> she certainly went on. How many people did she kill, Mr. Pritchard? Only two. Her husband and her sister. No one else was here. So there are two loose heads just floating around in here somewhere? You can hear them at night. They whisper to each other and then cry. <laughs> Since our host isn't here, would anyone care to mix me a drink? Certainly. What will you have? 
That guy's jacket looks like the shit that's under your carpet. Like the carpet padding. I'm your host, Frederick Lauren. Since we're all strangers to each other, let's get acquainted with a drink, shall we? Mr. Lauren, I advise you to call this party off now. The ghosts are already moving, and that's a bad sign. That's the Let good me stuff here. Apologize for my wife. She'll join us later. What do you have? Scotch and. Doctor? I'll have the same. Ah, uh, quite now, so, Jerma. Now, before Germa. the party begins, let's go over the details. All right, I'll, I'll shut up, I'll shut up, I'll the shut up. caretakers will leave at midnight, locking us in here until they come back in the morning. Once the door is locked, there's no way out. The windows have bars that a jail would be proud of, and the only door to the outside locks like a vault. There's no electricity, no phone, no one within miles, so... Are the lights all on? ...for help. Like a coffin. No internet. So, if any of you decide not to stay for the party, you must let me know before midnight. Of course, if you leave, I shan't be able to pay you anything. I'm interested in your reasons for this, uh, party. Aside from the pleasant company. Ghosts, Doctor. I think everyone wonders what they would do if they saw a ghost. And now my wife has given us all the opportunity to find out. Hmm. Amusing. Ghosts, etc., being only creations of hysteria, your party should be a success. Well, Pritchard here promises us genuine ghosts. Seven now. Maybe more before morning. That's cheerful. Four men have been murdered in this house. And three women. You planned your party very well, Mr. Lauren. Four of us are men, three are women. A ghost for everybody. Hmm. Richard, why don't you take us on a tour through the house and let's see what happens, huh? Tour. Yeah, just a bunch of candles. See that stain? Blood. A young girl was killed here. And whatever yeah, got her wasn't human. Don't stand there. What do you mean? Where? It's too late. They've marked you. Ridiculous. The roof probably leaks. Oh, that must be what it is. Who would want to haunt me? I would say any self-respecting male ghost. I hope it doesn't come back. Well, Mr. Pritchard, you're the life of the party. He hasn't even started yet. Wasn't there a man who threw his wife into a wine vat or something? He pissed that the bed? The That's not even... There's if I said that, you would minus two. Me. Here, he Who dies first? That's the, I, I'm really curious. Mr. Norton did a good deal of experimenting with wines. But his wife didn't think it was any good. So he filled the vat with acid and threw her in. She was supposed to stay down. But the bones came up. It's a funny thing. But none of the murders here were just ordinary. Just shooting or stabbing. They've all been sort of wild. Stop saying Rick and wild. Morty. Different. Look out! She almost fell she in? Fall in? Oh, you're not gonna you last. Mean there's still acid in there? How do you almost fall into a vat of acid while you're all standing looking at it? everything with hair and flesh it just leaves the bones is a rat skeleton gonna come up my it's dry and dusty down here 
Oh, there's a, a cure for that upstairs. <laughs> yeah, Come close on. that. Conveniently placed acid. How'd you get invited to this party? No. Oh, go on. I mean, what do you do? Oh, let's split up. Yep. Mr. Lawrence said everybody would get $10,000. But he didn't say anything about being locked in. No. Uh, he just made a deal with me on the phone, but nothing about having to stay. Aren't you going to stay? If I don't, I lose $10,000. I'm going to stay, too. $10,000. Do you think the acid yeah. will come into play later in the film? You believe in ghosts? I don't think so. I don't know. Well, I agree with what that doc says. You can spook yourself. I've done it in planes. Seen things that weren't really there. Or were they? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's going to be like a red herring. What are you going to do with it? I don't think it's, they're not going to use it. If we get it. What do you mean, if we get it? Won't he pay us if we stay? Ah, sure he will. 10,000 is no more to him than a nickel is to us. We were in an automobile accident. Now I'm the only one in the family who can make any money. Boy, I've never seen so many doors. Closet? The scene probably caught they probably cost them 10k. I don't know. Back in like the 50s, the whole movie probably cost 10k. But maybe 40,000, 50,000. Does it go anywhere? They're not going to go with the acid right away, are they? You think she's going in the acid right now? Uh, no, she she got out of the AI spawn range. It was deaggroed. It was just played in reverse. That was actually just played in reverse. Open the acid vat again. See if it smells like him. Ah, oh, he's alone up there. He didn't come down. We'll have to break it down and stop. Oh, zoinks. You all right? Nothing that money won't cure. I must... I must have bumped my head. And the only way you could bump your head in here is to run head on into the wall. <laughs> well, you're an idiot. You didn't do that, did you? You not look where you're going? You Let's fucking get a moron. Right. That kind of was an underhanded you're an idiot comment, wasn't it? I wonder why they didn't kill him. Who? He didn't bump his head. How many times do they say acid in the script? Uh, not, it's not that much. Maybe six. Nora, when you came in, you said something about a ghost. There was something. Yeah, I'd say what ghost was more like? prevalent. Well, it, it was wearing a black thing that went all the way to the floor. 
Weren't you a little frightened at the time? Well, yes. That, Mr. Lauren, is hysteria. But then, Doctor, how do you explain what happened to Lance? Was that hysteria, too? He wants to call him an really idiot get so that bad. In a day or so. Thanks, Doc. He so badly wanted us to call him an idiot. That look said it all. Wait for me in the hall. The ghosts are coming closer, Mr. Lauren. You really believe in your pet ghost, don't you, Pritchin? Before the night's over, you will too. Would you like a drink, Lance? Uh, no thanks. I'd like one. Got to answer. So this is like pre-big prank video setup where the person has like 10 monitors and like 45 people working there. He has to sit here and watch this happen. Mr. Lauren, are you really going to... He doesn't have like a command center where they go watch. Certainly. He has to stay in the house with them. Will there be much Isn't he just in the same amount of danger? You in a hurry, dear? <laughs> Frankly, yes. Or frantically. There you are, my dear. Well, that sucks. That's part of the fun? Yeah, he doesn't get to put, like, the big headphones on and crack up like, Oh my god! <laughs> laughing with, like, three other people laughing behind the scenes in the command center. And then take the headphones off and come in and, 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 and talk to somebody and, like, was prank in them. Here when I came in. But where? And if the door was locked, how did it get out? What you saw might have been a ghost, Nora, but what was in here with me was no ghost. I don't know. I was so scared. Impractical jokers. Different to you? Yes. What was that sound supposed to be? Three, six, nine, twelve. Twelve feet. Hollow? Three, six. I'm going to knock on the other wall. When you hear me, you knock on this wall. They're going to find him on the ground again. This guy can't be trusted. He hit his head again. You just, you just, he, you just hear like a... Oh! Like on the other side of that wall. He walked into the other side. Nice animation. That was an actress. Or an actor. <laughs> Where did it come from? From in here. <laughs> the game lagged out. <laughs> what if it ran out of That's here? That's so I'd funny. Seen it. Lance, it doesn't <laughs> run it. It just floats. Yeah, but uh, why didn't I see it? You don't believe me. <laughs> Can I? I'm Annabelle Lauren. You must be Miss Manning. I realize this is a very unusual and I'm afraid very dull party. Wouldn't you like to freshen up? She's the scary. She's the scary lady, right? This is just a big elaborate prank show. It's her, right? This is your room. Depressing, isn't it? I doubt if I'll spend much time here. It's going to rain. Perfect atmosphere for my husband's party. Why did you come here? He said he'd give me $10,000. Why did he pick you? I don't know. My supervisor just came and said I'd been invited. It's quite bizarre, isn't it? How long have you known my husband? 
I just met him tonight. So? Why you? What were you doing wandering around by yourself? Uh, sometimes I wish I had a, an well, orchestra behind me on my strings. Mr. Schroeder, I just left, that's all. Don't do it again. Don't go anywhere in this house by yourself. Now fix your face and I'll come by for you in a few minutes. But I... You're in danger. We all are. But who? I hope for your sake you never find out. I'm Annabelle Lauren. Were you looking for something? Uh, not exactly. Are you the doctor? Lady no, Dimitri. No, I'm not Schroeder. <laughs> you've hurt yourself. Oh, it's... Uh, Dimitri, 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 whatever. Which is my room? I believe this is it. Thank you, Mrs. Lauren. Annabelle Lance. You were with the young girl in the cellar. Why was she so upset? Was she? And you don't look like the type to go around bumping his head. What really happened, Lance? Well, Nora thought she saw a ghost, but uh, I didn't see anything. She was just frightened then. And mad at me, I think. I kidded her about it. I wouldn't joke about anything else that happens here tonight. Now, don't tell me you're taking all this seriously. Aren't you? Well, I'd uh, like to find out what hit me. Lance. Oh, that wallpaper is a magic eye. If I need help, may I count on you? <laughs> sure, I guess so. Look, what's well, going on here, at. anyway? I mean, what is with this party bit? This is no party. He's planning something. Your husband? I wish I knew what it was. Must be pretty big if he's going to lay out 50000 The money doesn't mean anything. He has a reason for getting us all up here to this dreadful old house. Well, what for? He doesn't even know us. Maybe that's exactly why you're here. Well, what can he get away with? Oh, he thinks that big money like his can get away with anything. You know, of course, that I'm his fourth wife. The first simply disappeared. The other two died. Well... Lance, <laughs> I don't want to join them. Uh... You mean he, uh... Oh, his doctor said they died of heart attacks. Two girls in their 20s. Well, what can he do? My husband is sometimes insane with jealousy. Nothing matters to him then. Did they make the movies black and white to make them scarier? Would he hurt you? Yes. He would kill me if he could. Oh. Quick, she's got to get into hair and makeup. He's like, fuck. Yep. I got to put on that scary face. Annabelle, you're missing all the fun. Nora Manning was almost killed by a falling chandelier. The pilot bashed his head in. Is he badly hurt? The Saturnine psychiatrist bandaged him up. Don't you want to go and console him? As you do most men. She's, brush she's brushing her face. You're so clever, Frederick. Yes, I lie awake nights wondering why I married you. It was rather a mistake. You didn't marry me, dear. I married you. Unpleasant, but no mistake. Hurry up. Frederick, for the last time, I'm not going this to This house probably party. is will give you a headache. And for the last time, it's not my party, but yours. All these candles. It and probably smells going. so just heavy in here. I am not. Are you ready, dear? No. Are you ready, dear? Yes, damn you. Would you adore me as much if I were poor? <laughs> no. All you want to be is a lovely widow. It's almost time to lock up the house. And then your party will really begin. I wonder how it'll end. I just said, yo, where's Dracula? I'm not sure he's in this particular movie.
Yo, where's Dracula? It's close to midnight, Lance. Okay, I'll be down in a minute. The jacket off was the pajamas of the 50s. Mm hmm. That's how it's like, okay, I'm relaxing now. No jacket on. It's almost midnight, Nora. We're all going to get together down in the living room. All right, Mr. Lloyd. I'll be right down. They were basically naked when they did that? Yeah. Wait, didn't she pack that suitcase? <laughs> Loot. I think we have our first death incoming. Come with us. Who the Come fuck? with us before he kills you. <laughs> it's Bugleberry. Where's Laura? That's not Where's Dracula. Mary? Well, they're not supposed That's to spawn John yet. <laughs> and his wife. They've been caretakers here for years. She's blind, you know. I'm not going to stay here. Well, Doctor, it looks like we have a real case of hysteria on our hands. I think she's just a little upset. They didn't hit the not cinematic hysterical. trigger yet, no. our guests. Ruth Bridges, Dr. Trent, you know Watson Pritchard, of course, Nora Manning, and uh, this is Lance Schroeder. Did he hit his head or did he get a bee sting? That seems like a small little... Get me out of here. Now, what about the 10,000? I don't care. He wants to kill me. Who wants to kill you? Mr. Lord. May I have your attention, please? I think you all remember the bargain we made about staying all night. $10,000 a piece. If any of you don't survive, $50,000 will be divided amongst the rest of you. If I should die, you will be paid by my estate. Oh, I thought when it was the doors you get locked nothing. from the outside by the caretakers, we'll all be forced to stay in this house until morning. If any of you decide not to stay, you must leave with the caretakers now. You won't have a chance to change your minds later. Because there'll be no way to get out. I don't want to stay. Wait. Oh, there go the two, uh, old scary people. That's something weird. That door is midnight absolutely massive. They could leave. They never leave before midnight. Well, they've gone now. I was going to ask you whether you wanted to stay or not, but it seems that the caretakers have made the decision for you. We're all locked in now. But I don't want to stay. And I'm sorry, my dear, but it's too late now. That's not fair. Darling, that's not fair. enough of the silly game. Get some cars up here for these people and let them go home. But pay them first. This is your party, remember? In spite of my wife's faith in my ability to do the impossible, we will all have to stay in this house until 8 o'clock in the morning. But we have some party favors for you. 
in these little coffins. Weapons? Knives? Guns? Hatchets? My wife's idea. Yep. I must say, I think it's rather dangerous. I suppose you all know how to use one of these things, but in case you don't, you just press down on this lever with your thumb and then pull the trigger. By the way, her you ears... She would have her da her ears are damaged forever. These are no good against the dead. Only the you shot that right next to her head. Doctor, Lance. He may as well have just shot her in the head. Nora, go ahead, take it. Miss Bridges. This is just turning into a battle royale game. And here's yours, dear. I don't need it. It was your idea. Who knows, you may want to use it on me before this night is over. Throw these guns away. They won't do you any good. I agree with Pritchard on that point. Although not for the same reason. <laughs> guns. Dr. Trent. Don't point don't it to you your... Oh, my God. Little party favors. Suppose Nora had had a gun when she mistook the blind woman for a ghost. I don't think anyone else is going to walk around in total darkness. Yeah, oh, zero I'm gun sure safety. We're not go running around the house shooting each other, aren't you? Who knows? Fear makes people do amazing things. That yeah, you don't like point it. Don't stop that! Oh my God, that's giving me so much like anxiety. What the you said fuck? Your sister-in-law killed a man and a woman here and cut them up. You said they found hands and feet, but they never found any heads. Would you like to see one of those heads? Would you all like to see one of those heads? Well then, just follow me. That, like, you, you got no, Alright, put it, put, let's put it down. Darling, I really don't need this. He was playing with it like it was a fidget toy. Just go look in my suitcase. Yeah. Just go look. But it was in there. A woman's head. Nora, I think you're a little upset. Would you care for a sedative? Get out! Get out, all of you! All of you, get out! I think it's all right to leave her by herself, Doctor. I wish she'd taken the sedative. What does he have? What, what do you mean a she sedative? She saw? I'm a doctor. I carry sedatives. Look, Doc, I think somebody ought to stay with her. There could be a million people around her. Oh, this is like an, an RPG, her, a role-playing game. He has three sedatives, what two health packs. Right? He's too drunk to know what he's talking about. I wonder. I'll join you in a minute. Do you think it would do any good if you went in and talked to her? Well, do you think there really was a head in her suitcase? I don't know. A thing like that would put me right over the edge. But would you sort of stay up here, I mean, in case she needs help? All right. I can't wait till, the, till we see some room. the gun usage. We're going to see so many misses. I can't wait. Are you sure there are only seven people in this house? Positive. Except for the ghosts. I don't believe in ghosts. Nor in frightening women. In Nora's case, it's gone far enough. Perhaps too far. What do you suggest we do about it, Doctor? Don't frighten her anymore. Okay. <laughs> That's a great, great idea. Yes. What are you talking about? You don't believe in frightening women? Yeah, what's that supposed to mean? Like you don't think they exist? I don't I don't believe in a, in a frightening woman. What? 
What are you talking about? He was attributing Laura? frightening women to ghosts not being real. What is he talking about? you walk around with this? Why is he walking around with this? What do you know about this? They've taken her. In a little while, she'll be one of them. Where's Nor- Where is she? It's too late. It's too late. You'll never find her again. Pritchard, if you know where she is, you better tell me now. She's gone. She's gone with them. And there's nothing you can do about it. That sounded like a death scream. What kind of reaction was that? That was like a mild inconvenience that she was in the way. Oh, it's a person like dead up here hanging up here yeah that's kind of in the way yeah just put it down what not why none of them are reacting react harder no. react harder She's dead, Mr. Lauren. Your wife hanged herself. Suicide. <laughs> Director Andy. movie called House on Haunted Hill. He tried to kill me. He grabbed me and choked me and put me in that room. What? And then he went away and left me. Who? He thought I was dead. Who? But she wasn't up there, right? Mr. Lord. Are you sure about this? I don't know. It was, it was dark, but it must have been him. Has anybody seen you since he left you? I heard some people in that room, but I went by and nobody saw me. Mrs. Lauren is dead. How? Oh, okay. It was. I, she was like, oh, he choked me and I was choked. And it, I thought she was talking about like Lauren she was the one that was hanging. I, I was like, what? Him. So stupid, I'm sorry. If we use enough butter, maybe I'll be able to get out of this. Go into the fridge, there might be some. I'm sure you've come to the same conclusion I have. Yeah, I think so. Well, let's all have a meeting. Discuss what to do. The living room? I'm not going to say it. Okay. Someone, I'm not going to say it. One of you has to. I'm not going to say it. You say it. Yeah. I'm not going to take the minus two on this one. You have to. <laughs> I've got to go downstairs. Now, you lock yourself in here and don't let anybody know you're here. If he thinks you're dead, he won't come here. 
I'll get back as soon as I can. You'll be all right. And if you have to, you use it. Wait, did you say he has the Mona Lisa? <laughs> wait, wait. Oz. Does? Where? Hey, the Mona Lisa's in the house? Somebody just said he has the Mona Lisa. One guy said that? Well, I, I sometimes you have to trust the one guy. I didn't see that. So beautiful. So greedy. So cold. What are you doing in here? Wait. Don't wait. What do you mean coming in here? It's not the way to like kind of grab something. Take her away. You're drunk. They will if you don't watch her. You're drunk. All right, out with it, Bridget. Why did you come into this room? I'm the only one who understands. Understands what? Your wife isn't there anymore. She's already joined them. Look, Bridget, I've had enough of your spook talk. Get out, you sot, and don't come back into this room again. <laughs> Why, you little. <laughs> Uh -huh. That's funny. That's only like the second or third cigarette sighting. The whole movie. Very interesting. Where's what's her name? Nora. I didn't disturb her, since I don't think this concerns her. No, you're right. Mr. Lauren, isn't there some way we can get out of this house now? No, none at all. We could try breaking out. The only door to the outside is made of steel. The bars of the windows are set in solid stone. We've got to stay. I'm not afraid of your ghosts, Bridget. Where's the old couple? But I am afraid. When we came here a few hours ago, the only thing we had in common was the $10,000 we'd get. Now, however, we share something else. The death of Mrs. Lauren. So far tonight, You're the caretaker. one of us was almost killed by a falling chandelier. One of us was mysteriously slugged. One of us has been driven to the brink of absolute hysteria. And one of us is dead. Were these accidents? Suicide? And we must stay here for six more hours. Six hours? Six of us. That's really not that long, if you think I'm about it. I'm in Who will be next? How will it happen? Let's get a deck of cards and play solitaire. Let me ask you a question, Doctor. You were the first one to see my wife there. Did you also see anything that she could have climbed up on and then jumped? No. Did any of them? There was nothing. How then did she get up there so high? Exactly, Mr. Lauren, how? She couldn't have pulled herself up there. She couldn't have dropped from the ceiling. Do you think your wife killed herself? No. She was murdered by one of you. Oh. Or you, Mr. Lauren. Ooh. To deliberately kill someone, you must have a reason. We were all strangers to your wife. Only you had a motive for murder. What husband hasn't at some time wanted to kill his wife? What husband hasn't had a thousand opportunities to do it in such a way so that he'd never be suspected? I'm not such a fool as to hang my wife from a ceiling by a rope. The fact remains that you, for instance, or one like of us, a vat of acid murdered in the basement. Mrs. Lauren. And that's a matter for the police. So how do we get the police? That's my point. We can't until morning. 
What began as a silly party given by an eccentric has now involved us all in murder. For well, once, Pritchard may be right. If another murder's in the works, let's stop it now. Another murder? Why not? Maybe one of us saw too much. Why should even a millionaire want to give each of us $10,000? Millionaire? Spend one night in a gloomy old house. To see some ghosts, have a party? No. Have you finished trying me, Doctor? And is the verdict guilty of murder? Oh, this isn't getting us anywhere. Somebody killed Mrs. Lauren, we know that. One of us is guilty and the rest of us are innocent, okay. Now, what we have to do for the next six hours is protect ourselves from each other. Do you really think... I don't think anything. I just know that I'm going to my room. And if anybody comes in, I'll shoot him. Or her. And if we all stay in our rooms, that, we'll be safe. You know, that's... yeah. Well, I, the innocent will have no reason to leave his room. It's true. And the guilty will admit his guilt if he or she does. And Sorry. we all have guns. And we're all agreed. I wish this night were over. Skip voting. Drones, guns. I tell you, it doesn't make any difference. The thing is, no, nobody went like this, so you can't tell who the imposter is. Nobody went like this. This is how you can tell. Nobody went like this. Dude, I, dude. That's how you tell. Nobody went, no, you're cute. Dude, I swear, I, that's how you can tell. Little fingers up above eyebrows, lean forward. It's a tell for everybody. What's the use of saying good night? Everybody has that tell. Or this one. Good night. Uh-huh. The eyes go up and over to the right. Okay, right. You have to look for over-actor Andes when you do uh, games like this. Good night, Doctor. Poker professional. <laughs> Has anybody done that joke of playing Among Us with a face cam on? With full shades on and a hat? I feel like, right, that's really, that's an easy... write anything in that. I can't write that small. Someone's coming in. Gun. Use the gun. Putting their guns down. I'm telling you, I'm sitting there. I'm gonna get a pair of, of glasses. I'm gonna draw on that pad fake eyes. Put them in the lenses. Sit down with my gun pointed at the door. Even if I fall asleep, person that comes to the door says, Holy shit, that guy's awake. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Yeah, draw two eyes, tear them out with the paper, put them inside of the lenses of the glasses, facing out so it looks like your eyes are open. Laura, it's me, Lance. You okay? They've all 
go into their rooms and lock themselves in. Lance, I've been thinking. It was so dark down there. Maybe it wasn't Mr. Lorne. It was him, all right. He tried to kill you, and he did kill his wife. How can you be so sure? She tried to warn me, ask me to help her. The doc thinks he's going to try and kill one of us. Yeah, marked for death, right? There must be a way out of this place, and I'm going to find it and get the police before he does. I'm going with you. What if he finds out you're alive? No, Nora. You're safer here than any Stop leaving else. your room. Just lock yourself in and keep quiet. If I find a way out, I'll come back and get you. This way, out of curiosity, wasn't that the guy that said if anybody comes in his room, he's going to shoot them immediately and he's just walking around? It's just stay in your room. You gave everybody that idea. What are you, what's wrong with you? Trying to escape. He's trying to fight. He's the killer. You don't go say that. Oh no, 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 I'll come get you. I'll find a way. Right, that's the Tim. I thought that was a snake. Is this, no, it's not a snake. I thought that was a snake. <laughs> How would the physics allow that to happen? Uh, let's move? Let's move! Paralysis, read the rules next time. <laughs> Don't run around with a gun. A gorilla? It was an ogre. I saw that in the corner, I knew it was going to be used eventually. Go sit on it? Sit on, like, sit on the piano? To, like, stop the keys? Yeah, go over there and just start playing notes. You'll fuck up their whole song. And won't they, that would piss the ghost off, right? It'd be like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. 
And admission of guilt, Doctor? Certainly not. There's either somebody else in this house or one of us has left his room. Did you hear anything? Organ music? That. And someone walking. You got your... Ready? You look downstairs and I'll look up here. Why not together? There may be only minutes, seconds left of someone's life. Why waste time? Yeah, what about the scream? That was a very loud scream. They care about the organ. <laughs> yeah, that was... That's not the Mona Lisa, by the way. That's what they're referring to. It's almost over, darling. Every detail was perfect. Yeah, it's, 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 it's this guy, yeah? So the crime hasn't been committed yet, so it's not the perfect crime. You didn't do it yet. Get me out of this hanging harness. I'm going back to lie down and pretend to be asleep. Get the fuck out of here and Take finish it. Girl so long. Don't come back in here again till it's done. At first, I couldn't get Nora to want to protect herself with a gun. But after you appeared at the window, everything began to work just as we had planned. You were wonderful. Just the touch that finally drove her into complete hysteria. It'll be worth all of our planning, darling. Where's Nora now? What's happening? On her way to the cellar. So scared she'll shoot the first thing that moves. And Frederick? On his way to the cellar, too. David, are you sure none of them will suspect us? Of what? An hysterical girl accidentally shoots somebody? Who would suspect that we planned it that way, that we drove her to it? What about my suicide? We're just a ghost party gag. We'll claim it was a dummy since I'm the only one who touched you. And the caretakers? Well, they had no idea what they were really doing. Cellar acid, Pog. Cellar acid. <laughs> everything we planned is working perfectly. Nora oh, is sure no. Frederick murdered you. She thinks Frederick attacked her in the cellar, not me. And now Nora's almost out of her mind with fear. The heads, the music, you're hanging. I tell you, when Frederick walks in there, she'll shoot him. It's taking too long. David, you ought to be there. When you hear the shot, come down to the cellar. <laughs> they like smushed into each other. <laughs> Their faces were both made out of clay for a second. Wow, the, like the big smush where your lips are touching, but so are your cheeks, your nose, your chin, your face. Your, everything is like smushed into each other. We call that passion, buddy. <laughs> I think he, I think the doctor's gonna go in the acid. The thing's gonna open up. He's about to push somebody in. They're gonna turn it around. He's gonna fall in. Been done. Open up the acid vat.
Nope. Nope. I know what happened. He didn't load- he gave the guns to everybody, he didn't load them with bullets, they're blanks. So he's pretending to be dead right now, then he's gonna turn on this guy, throw him in the acid, movie over. He gave the guns to everybody. Watch this. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Oh wait, maybe- but they didn't show it though. They didn't show it, so maybe I am right. Yeah, they didn't show it. That's definitely what happened. David? How much hubris do you have to have? Like, how much, like, over-narcissism do you have to have? To, like, I have to- I'm gonna put this body into the acid. Like, why can't he just be dead? You really have to put the person in- the dead body in acid? Why- just- why can't you just kill them and they go, oh, they- she killed him. Don't tell me that every death in this movie is going to be in the acid. I thought it was going to be a red herring, but it's not. It's every character death. Why is it walking? It's a wicked shitty skeleton. Just push it. It's so fragile. You're not gonna fall in the acid, are you? behind that push was the same amount of force that comes out of when you blow your nose into a tissue. Wait, what? your game of murder that I was playing too. So how did you get the body hey, out of the acid? Here. Oh, right there has here. to be a skeleton so in there. Ryan, I've shot Mr. Lore and he's down in the wine cellar. Alive? I don't think so. 
If two people have died, in, I, I imagine that's like a six foot tall by like three foot wide cube, right? There's like two fucking bodies it's in here. Him, he's alive. You didn't shoot anyone, my dear. I loaded your gun with blanks. I can tell you all now. Trent and my wife were planning to kill me. They failed. Trent tried to throw me in the vat. My wife stumbled and fell. I'm ready for justice to decide if I'm innocent or guilty. Right, then there's another mega twist, where it turns out the vat was actually filled with ecto cooler, I see, and it's not actually real acid, and they triple played all the people here. Now there are nine. There'll be more, many more. They're coming for me now, and then they'll come for you. So did they not get any money? Wait, did they not get any ten thousand dollars? What happened to money? Do you put on an elaborate scam to make sure that you kill your wife? These people don't get any money. They just had a, a bunch of like traumatizing shit happen. Is he going to pay them? Hey, what happened to the gorilla? What about the gorilla hand? <laughs> I want to see... Hold on. I need to see the push into the acid again. That was unbelievable. <laughs> this is the best part. That was so good. Oh. That was unbelievably good. Look at right before, right before she stumbles. Hold on. I think this warrants a, uh, a, a playback speed. This shit is like, this shit is like deep fried now. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> that was uh, House on Haunted Hill by the absolute mastermind Vincent Price. It was very enjoyable. You know, for, let me tell you, for 1959, that, I mean, that was, that was, that was pretty good. It was. That was good. I like that one a lot. <laughs> uh, we're going to move on to the next one. I am going to, we'll take another break, refill on snacks, let me go to the bathroom, we'll be right back, and we'll see you in like two or three minutes, on to the next one, be right back.
So our third feature of the evening is going to be a, a meme. This is a meme one. <clears throat> I've never seen this movie. I've heard that it's just awful and outrageous. I, I, I don't know anything about it. It's been requested a bunch of times. It is Manos, The Hands of Fate. I have n I've don't I've never seen this movie. It's apparently just awful. <laughs> uh and it's time to watch it. So we're going to move over to it. Remember this movie is literally unwatchable. It's unwatchable. Well, we're gonna look at this, but I got plenty more. So if this movie sucks, I, we can literally just skip through it and just go to the next one. I'm ready. I at least have to give it's the meme. I have to give the meme a chance. Okay. If we get bored, I'll just skip. Not at 1.5 speed, no. All right, here we go. You guys ready? This is Manos, The Hands of Fate. This one's in color. So, 1966, apparently. This movie is bad, but it's legendary bad. The opening sequence is 15 minutes of driving. No, it's not. Now I'm very curious. Okay, <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, it is. It can't be. I let's go. All right, moving on. Uh, Manos, the hands of fate. And three, two, one. Let's go. Ow! Oh my God! Why? not 15 minutes driving, it can't be. Oh no, fuck this movie. <laughs> oh, how come so many of you guys have seen this? How have so many of you seen this movie? It was on MST3K. Oh, okay. Pretty close right now. The agent said it was about 12 miles from Highway 10, and that was Highway 10 back there. Is this not an? Is this dubbed? Is this not in English? The better directions at the last gas station. Is this a non-English movie? I've never gotten us lost before. Mommy, I'm cold. Okay, Debbie, I'll put the top up. Never mind, Mike. Debbie can come up with it between us. This feels like one of those Sesame Street live action sequences. Now that's better, baby. Why don't we sing a song to help pass the time? Hmm? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Merrily, 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 life is down the stream. I thought he was gonna put merrily, the, put it up, but the top up. They just almost drove it. They're just on the wrong side of the road. They aren't even in sync. Well, that's the point. <laughs> They weren't not in sync. Okay, that's. <laughs> if you don't understand that like song, how that goes, then you're like, why? That sounds horrible.
Where's the kid? All right, mister. I see you have a taillight problem. No excuse. Running late, first vacation, kid getting tired. That's too bad. Oh, can't you give us a break, officer? Well, all right, all right. Sure do appreciate it. We are running kind of late. Okay, but if you're running late, you should have started earlier. Anyhow, no tail light. Have it fixed. Thank you, officer. Wow. <laughs> that doesn't need to be in the movie. That doesn't have to be in the movie. That what what that does what's the point? You, there really is just a 15 minute driving sequence? You're right. Remember, this is the whole movie. No, it, 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 it has to get better. There's something crazy has to happen. It has to get better. Please pick any other movie. I don't want to watch this again. Oh. I don't even, I don't, why everybody's seen this but me, apparently. I warned him, Chad. <laughs> Watch it in times two? Not yet. Hold on. I'm. I want to see what's going on. You need, no, no. I need to. I need to, don't skip it. I thought that was. I thought he was still driving the car. <laughs> it's like what the? You can't drive. I thought that was the two parents. What is happening? <laughs> I don't know. In the MST in the MST 3K episode, it's so bad they move away from it and apologize that they didn't know it would be this bad. They actually apologized for doing an, an episode on this. Holy shit, I thought I thought you were just over exaggerating. We're six minutes into the movie and there's still people just driving now look, cars. The sign pointed this way. Mike, let's go back to the crossroads and ask those kids we saw. Okay, okay, but I know we can't be wrong. Look, the sign pointed this way. Don't give up, no skipping. Some of you are saying that, and I, I think I have to listen to you. Where are they even driving? There's no road. Wait, uh... No laughing? Okay, fine. <clears throat> All right, if I laugh, I'll skip the movie. How about that? How many times do we have to chase you kids? Oh, she. Holy cow, man. You'd think we're doing something wrong. Well, whatever it is you're not doing, go don't do it somewhere else. I don't know what the uh, camera... The... Why don't you guys leave us alone? Come on now, no wisecracks. Just go on home. Okay. Get going, get going. Right already. Why is he huge? What's going on with this car?
Come on now, no wisecracks. Why is this go car on. so? Okay. What's going on with this car? Get going. And why is he right already? In front of the cop? You may as well have like thrown like an empty Dunkin' Donuts container out at, at, at the window at the same time. What? Are you serious? I could have sworn we didn't make a wrong turn. You must have. Where did the road go? No need to get upset. We'll find it. Do you really need the full three-point turn to be in the movie? Into the kid's head while they're speeding. It wasn't here a few minutes. Little ago. kid's head just sitting there like this. Like they're going so fast. Look, there's someone at the door. It's the hardest thing ever. It's in his hand. If they get in the car and they drive around again, it might be over. It might actually be over after that. <clears throat> Don't skip if you laugh. <laughs> Hold it. I'll try. I am Torgo. I take care of the place while the master is away. But the child, I'm not sure the master would approve, or the dog. The master doesn't like children. We only want to know where Valley Lodge is. Which way do we go? There is no place like that around here. Mike, I'm scared. I'm gonna be fine. It was the car <laughs> part that dark. made me almost laugh. Well, Targo, which way is out of here? There is no way out of here. It will be dark soon. There is no way out of here. It's, it's, no it's probably way. 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon where the sun is. It's hitting me in the face this we way. It means it's probably here. Not the, spend the night that's probably 4 o'clock. They have at least 3 hours. I, I don't want to spend the night here. I don't like the looks of the place. Well, it seems we have no alternative. Well, how about it, Torgo? Can we spend the night here? Well, I don't know what else we can do. But, Mike, I don't want to stay here. And the master wouldn't approve. Don't worry about it. We're here now, and I'm sure the master won't throw us out. Well, why can't you just drive I'll away, it, Torgo? I don't want to stay. Let's leave. I don't know about it. I just don't know. <laughs> Uh, okay, so don't stay and just leave and get in the car and drive away. What's stopping them from just leaving? Where the car doesn't have headlights? They're wasting, so they're spending, this is like 15 minutes they could be on the road already. Just sitting here, look at this guy's making faces at him. Well, Torgo, in or out? Patient, dear.
Very well. The master will be very disturbed. I'll get the, the luggage. <laughs> Torver, we'll stay tonight and then tomorrow. You we'll... must be. You cannot stay. The master would not uh, approve. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was that? What's with the mother music? <laughs> it was the. I, it wasn't even that funny. It was the fucking music. Three strikes? Can I get three strikes? That was. <laughs> three strikes and I'm out, please. I have feelings more to see. <laughs> it was. <laughs> see, you're feeling better already. Okay, ready three. Two. I gotta get it out of me because I just Look keep replaying that music. The music just keeps replaying up here. What are they posing for a picture? <laughs> My God. That doesn't count. That doesn't. That does not count. That does not count. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Play it, please. Please don't play it. Don't do the music when he comes oh back in the room. God. It's gonna be over so quick. He has the meanest look. Don't play the music when he walks in, please. I'd hate to run up on him in the dark or even in the light for that matter. What was what was that for? That must be your master. Where did you say he was? He has left this world, but he is with us always. No matter where we go, he is with us. What? No matter where he goes. What does that mean? That dog the most vicious looking animal I've ever seen. Well, I hope he goes where the master goes. It's just a dog. Nothing to fear, madam. It's just a dog. The, really the most vicious you. animal you've Nothing ever seen. Nothing happen to you. He likes you. Likes me? I thought you said he was dead. <sighs> dead? No, madam. Not dead the way you know it. He is with us always. Not dead the way you know it. He is with us always. You just said it. You just said the line twice. Oh, if we get like a... I, I like Nothing to worry about. It's only your imagination. The dogs were just doing tr dog tricks? I think that it's best that I show you to the bedroom now. Oh my god! Mike, what was that? Probably some animal in the desert. Nothing to be afraid of. I'm scared, Mike. Is this, does anything happen to this movie? Somebody said I never got this far. Michael, I don't care what it is. Chase it away. Okay, if it'll I, make you relax. What I'll do you mean you never got it, it this far? <laughs> Just let the dog go. What happened? I heard. Stay 
here. Get back into the house. <laughs> There's two dogs. Get, get back in the house, damn it. My God, Mike, what happened? He's dead. Peppy's been killed. Get back in the house, honey. What kind of place is this? My God, what kind of place is this? I'll take care of everything, honey. Get back in the house. Uh, uh, I've seen high school projects better than this movie. Where are you going? Where are you going? This is like the joke editing that they did in Always Sunny. I can laugh at Mike. that because that's not the movie. Oh, Mike, what could have done it? <laughs> <laughs> I can laugh at that. Honey, it was probably some animal from the desert. This place must be full that of That doesn't them. count. I'm laughing at what you said, not the movie. Peppy? You went away, baby. So is the, ki okay. is the kid dubbed over by an adult? Mike, I want to leave this place now. It doesn't okay, sound, is honey, that we'll the leave kids right away. dubbed over by an adult? Where the hell is that caretaker? Targo! Okay, we're, we're back in. Targo! Did you what, me? We're leaving. Would you mind putting the luggage back in the car? As you wish. Right now. Fast, damn it, fast! Of course, the car doesn't work. That was tough. That was actually really tough. <clears throat> I just realized his hat, his hat is like torn up at the top. It's all like ripped up. I'll be glad to leave. I've had all of this place I want. Madam, it will be very dangerous to leave now. The master wants you. What? I thought he said that they had to leave the, and, and the master didn't that? want them. He wants you for his wife. He loves beautiful women. Car going? Walk away. You can walk away. Where in the world can he be? Mike! Mike! Oh, 
Let me out of here. Let me out of here now. Do you hear now? Forgive me, madam. I meant no harm. Forgive you? Just push. Just... Wait till I tell my husband. Grab that staff out of his hand and do a fucking false swing to his head. I meant no harm, madam. I'll protect you. I will protect you. Very well. I won't tell Kill my them. husband. Now let me out. Oh, that's right, the dog. The dog is gone. Hey, Maggie, the damn car won't start. Margaret? Damn car won't start. Well, that really fixes things. What are we going to do now? I don't know, and I couldn't find anything wrong with it either. Hey, Targo, what's, what's going the phone? on? Was, is it police sirens? It was police sirens. Yes, Alexander Graham Bell, you know, telephone. There is none, sir. The master doesn't approve of such devices. The, then where is the nearest phone? The nearest phone is at the crossroads. That's ten miles. Ten miles? That's the end of the Might film well reel. Ten thousand miles. <laughs> Easy, honey. You won't have to get mad. <sighs> the master won't mind you staying tonight. He has no choice. We can't leave. We can't walk out of here. The damn car won't start. Hm. I'll just bring the bags back to the room. Sinister. Sinister isn't descriptive <laughs> enough. Honey, we'll leave in the morning and soon this place will be forgotten. Forgotten? I'll never forget. Peppy's gone. I just hope Debbie will understand. She'll understand. She's my That's baby. Strike two. She'll That's understand. strike two. I hope so, darling. I That's sure strike two. So. She's my baby. She'll understand. <laughs> it's the dog. The ferocious See, where is dog. She? Oh my God! Somebody said the couch is wicked dirty. The couch is wicked dirty. You're probably playing hide and seek. Okay, Debbie, we see you. I come just out, come out, you are. Maybe Somebody said that 20 room. minutes ago. Debbie. Debbie! 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 Torgo, have you seen Debbie? She's... No. She's gone. Help us find her. She couldn't have gone outside. The door's bolted. For God's sake, don't panic. She's got to be in here. Is there another exit to the outside? In the kitchen. Just go out the door. That door is bolted too. Outside. <laughs> got to be outside. All right, we'll look outside for her. Debbie? Debbie? <laughs> Debbie? Say, say. Debbie? <laughs> Mike, I'm scared. The animals. And the Give me a button. Hold on. He, bear, you have to bear with me for a second. Bear with me for a second. It looks like he's a fucking Luke Skywalker <laughs> lightsaber. She couldn't have gone Just look, outside. It's like holy shit, the guys. Bolted. For God's sake, don't panic. She's got to be in here. When he just looked. Is there another exit to the outside? It was the fact that I get these high ride pants in and like kitchen. a Luke Skywalker replica. <laughs> that door's bolted too. <laughs> outside, Mike. She's got to be outside. All right, we'll look outside for her. <sighs> Debbie. Debbie. Debbie! I lose. Debbie! I lose. I lost. 26 minutes. This Mike, is far I'm they get. scared. The animals in the desert. Cut it out! <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, I, I lost. It's okay. Listen, don't skip. But now you want me to stay? We'll find her. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't skip. All right. Well, I failed the test, so Debbie? I could go. <laughs> Debbie. <laughs> now you be a good puppy. What? 
Why? That's your daughter. Why are you holding a My gun? Dad. It's the dog from the portrait. Stand back, Debbie. <laughs> what? Stand back. He's aiming a gun at Darling, what he knows is his baby, daughter. could have been hurt. I'm just waiting for like a. But you should never run away from us, mm -hmm. Debbie. Don't ever run away from us. No, I found my puppy. Where did you find the new dog, baby? In a big place. In a big place? Where, Debbie? There was a big dry place. It was so dark, but I wasn't afraid of the dark. I had all kinds of funny people in it. Where is the place, Debbie? <laughs> I can't. Over here, Daddy. That sounds like somebody, an adult woman in the middle of a constant yawn. Who the fuck is that? Let's get out of here. Let's go. Oh, that's the master. Get in the bedroom and lock Why is he lying on a slab? I'm going to He's got some explaining to do. Hurry, please, hurry. Wait, so he's just been out there the whole time? Wouldn't they have known or seen him? Why is he just lying on like a slab? I want her. She's mine, mine, mine. Do you hear? I want this one. You have all the wives you need. She's mine. Look! Why is he, I don't know why he's sleeping. Oh, you pretty ones. Let me see how good you are. I won't need you anymore. I have my own wife. I won't have to come in here to dream of having one of you. What the you, fuck is wrong with the this? Worst. You were his first wife. He doesn't want you anymore. Now even I don't want you. Oh. Those sandals. Oh my god, shoot this guy! You're losing viewers from this movie? Are you serious? This guy's just still running around outside. <laughs> how much lo Oh my god! We look how much- there's so much- I don't want to watch- I don't want to watch this whole thing. I don't want to watch this whole thing. Oh, I hate this guy. I hate this guy. We're on times two speed. Ha <laughs> ha 
to get lightheaded i have to five take a second hold on i have to take a second i have, I have to pause for a second i need a minute <sighs> this movie sucks holy shit what a shitty movie oh my god <sighs> okay i think i'm all right <laughs> ed ed and eddie oh <sighs> <sighs> David, yeah, these this couple has been sitting here for oh, the thirty-five minute runtime. This is still out here. Where are they? Oh my God! Okay, three, two, one. It's, it looks like a silent film now. <laughs> <laughs> Again, how many times do you have to be told? I'm like, wow. Have a heart, will you? Go chase that other couple. <laughs> what other couple? 60 FPS. Hey, my in the desert. Find them and chill on them a while. We know that this road goes nowhere, so now get. No smart stuff. We ain't trying to jump on you. Just get. <laughs> Wait, they didn't they do this again? You just literally made it a 40s movie because of the <sighs> Jesus. Slow it down, I'm too zonked for this. <laughs> Thou who dwelleth in the depth of the universe in the black chasms of night. <laughs> it's the forties. <laughs> Wait, that's not. Oh. Normal speed. Thou right. bestoweth another darkness upon thy faithful. Shall live eternally in her keeping. Thou dost make him most blessed forever. And thou who dost curse with eternal burning like those who transgress against thee. That sounds like Trey Parker doing a South Park character. Thou, thou, will be done. Thy priesthood remains steadfast, thy priesthood remains constant, thy priesthood remains righteous. Thou hast taught us, O Manos, and we have listened. Give ear to our words, O Manos, and hear us. Hear us, hear us, for we are faithful, and thou art our God. Arise, my wives, give ear to the words of Manos. Arise, my wives, and hear the will of Manos. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is freaking me out. I have, hold on. Wait time to stop that. Why has a child been brought here? Why? And a female child at that. <laughs> Sims discussing how to put out a fire. Oh my god. But a child? The woman is all we want. The others must die. They all must die. We do not even want the woman. The child is a female. <laughs> she must not be destroyed. She will grow up to be a woman. She must be killed. No. I am the no. oldest of the wives, no. and it is my privilege to say that. Enough! Enough of this stupid bickering. A child must die. What? If you persist in this 
foolishness. Oh, my fucking so stomach hurts. Say what you will, I will have no part of this madness. To be a woman, and as the oldest of the wise, I demand that she live. I don't know what they're doing here on the first place. You're causing up trouble. I think perhaps your service to us is at an end now. Silence! Silence! And now, my wise, I shall deal with the one who is responsible for the child being here. Tordo, he's the one. Get Tordo. Oh, you are no. responsible for this nonsense. We shall dispose of you later. What do you mean, dispose of who? You? It's a terrible mistake. The man, yes. The child, no. Maybe she's right. Maybe we should spare the child. It is against our will that we stay here. Do not make the child die to satisfy him. He does not need any more wives. Yes, he has no more time for us. Older wives. Just the newest. Huh. Jealousy is not part of us. Why are you so jealous of me? Slow. You are a troublemaker. You deserve to die. <laughs> die? I may die, but I do not care. You are a troublemaker. You deserve to die. <laughs> Jeremy, I can't die. watch this. I'm too zonked. You I may slow down. Die, it's you just gotta relax. But I do not care. <laughs> the child must live. Oh. She is right. Is it zero she damage. Will not kill the child. They keep. What are they saying this shit for? But Manos would not approve. The law of Manos exists for uh. us only. Manos loves women. She will grow up to be a woman. What are they talking about? Die. What are they talking about? Oh, I wish that was in times two speed. <laughs> when the master hears of this, he will be furious. It's a, a wife war? You are all mad. Mad, the whole lot of you. The man, yes. The child, no. <laughs> Wait, why is she doing that? And today in the German Rumble, the six-person Manos live fight. Tornado tag match. Oh my fucking god. I don't know if I can go on after this. My whole body hurts. Everything hurts. Why is he in the corner? Even at times two speed, it takes him forever to do anything. This took, look at how long this took. This whole shot didn't need to be this long. Master, what are you doing here? You have failed us, Torgo. I know of your visits to the tomb. My visits? The women have told me. They may not be able to say anything. Or Even move at times order. two speed, this is going to be another 15 to 20 minutes. And everything you do to them. Master, you have six wives. Why can't I have one for myself? You are not one of us. Therefore, you cannot have one of them. But I have one now. This one is mine. You will never get her. You have failed us, Torgo. For this, you must die. <laughs> Fail you? No. You have failed yourself. I can't you do it them. faster. You have failed, and you must die. And <laughs> you must die! Wait. I'll help him. You have failed, and you must die. No. You have failed yourselves. You never kill them. I'll help them. You have failed. And you must die. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is that. What the fuck? I hate this movie. Everything's so like creepy and like slow and weird. And they're all so fucking creepy and I hate it. Is 
just killing him? I feel like I was just gonna nosebleed. I really feel like I was gonna nosebleed. <laughs> what is that? Okay, what is that supposed to sound like? Normal speed. <laughs> I don't understand. What's that supposed to sound like? Normal. Manos, God of primal darkness. <laughs> It's worse. <sighs> Manos, God of primal darkness, as thou hast decreed, so have I done. The hands of fate have doomed this man. Yeah, t times two Thy feels normal now, doesn't it? Is done. I thought we were going to cut back to the couple making up. Times two, times two, times two. All right, all right. It's too slow. I know, I, I know, I know. What the fuck is going on? I'm broken, I think. I think I just broke. Yeah. Okay. I fucking hate this. I hate this whole movie. This is still going. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Who's Michael? Michael, where are you? <laughs> Michael. This is fucking crazy. It's Mario music. There's been an upshot. My purpose must be served. There will be no further insolence. <sighs> but the child. We cannot kill a child. We can. Weren't they all just fighting? Wait, 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 wait. I need to, I need to. Your power failed you. I need to hear this. I have no more fear. How? None of them injured. None of them Please, have sir. any. They're I not have scratches, no blood, no. Prepare her for sacrifice. No, that's not Daniel Day Lewis. <laughs> well done, my wives. The will of Manos shall be served. <sighs> What's it go? What? dog is just like, oh, they're like playing. Do you see the dog? They're like, oh, I'm gonna lick it. I'm gonna lick his face.
that? They're killing him? Kill. Do you know? It's, do you know what it feels like? This feels like every a dream. This is how shit plays out in your dreams, where shit happens way too fast and way too slow, and stuff like grabbing somebody's shirt is apparently killing them, right? And like you kind of it cuts around in your head to like different perspectives, and sometimes it resets and does it again. This is surreal. This is crazy. Margaret, open the door. Open the door! <laughs> Enough! The ceremony is done. What is- so he's dead. They killed him. Oh, that actually probably hurt. <laughs> that probably really hurt. In real life. Again, look at how long this is taking. We're gonna have to watch it in slow. I, I'm literally freaking out. I well, think I'm losing my desert. mind. Someone will help. <sighs> the gods will destroy you. That was a minion Your laugh. Your power fails. You <laughs> I can't laugh anymore. Stop. Destroy. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Don't make it anymore. The gods destroy me. <laughs> it really was a minion. <sighs> Even Torgo defied you. <laughs> and he was destroyed even as you shall be. Your oh, yeah, power yeah, yeah. does not affect me anymore. Even your other wives do not trust you. <laughs> See, I do not fear you, even though you beat me. Is this beat the, me again. Is this the beat, baby sensory beat. stream? No. <laughs> I do not fear you. What is he? Is he? What the fuck is happening right now? I can't go on. Take Daddy and run. No, darling, we'll make it. Let's go. Watch the gun. Watch the gun. Nothing up that way. Let's go this way. Wait, holy shit, what? <laughs> Wait, what happened? What happened? Holy fuck, he tumbled. Wait, what the hell? Like, are you alright? That was real commitment. Like, we can't go on this way. Doing slow mo? Alright. Like, we can't go on this way. And that was an insane pratfall. <laughs> Look, I've like flipped down the hill. <laughs> Omega Lel not acting, he actually fell. Mike, Mike, are you all right? Damn. I swear this Ed Ed Nettie music. Somebody said that and you just You just I shut me down completely. Can't go on this way. We've got to keep going. I don't I feel like I haven't really said any words in probably like 30 minutes straight. I don't even I, Time's too speed. Thank God! They're on the 
escape. Find them. No, leave them alone. We cannot kill a child. Get up, talk. Find them. Manos will be turned. Oh, he's looking at the camera. Are we Manos? Wait, what? Is she <laughs> fell down. I can't make it, Mike. I can't make it. Save baby. Save Debbie. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, somebody said Porky Pig? No, Maggie, we can make it. We'll rest here for a minute. We can make it. <laughs> Listen, Mike, you'll never think of looking for us at the house. You know you might have a point there. Please, Mike, please, I can't go any farther. Listen, we can lock ourselves in the kitchen. I have my gun. <laughs> ah. Okay. We'll have to go back. Why okay. did that have to be Mike, in Mike, here? Mike, they, 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 wouldn't they hear the gunfire? Sorry, I'm scared. Where's my puppy? Please, Debbie, not now. Wait, you shot twice. Oh, my God, not this again. Sure sounded like shots. We better check. This hour of the night, there can't be anybody out here. This is the boondocks. Well, sound does travel a long way at night. It could be clear over in Mexico, for that matter. He's got a lightsaber. Oh my god, I thought that was one of those toy lightsabers. It is. No, it's not. What is that? What was that? Why are they on the shop for so long? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> sure is good to get away. This feels yeah, slow. The rain. Vacations are fine, but this one should be great. Yeah, the gang's coming up for the weekend. This is, feels like so slow right now. Hmm. I think we times two too many times. With this is this feels weird. I kind of feel like I'm gonna puke, right? Like something is so strange and off about this. This is how the movie actually was. Do I have it on? It's on normal, right? Yeah, it is. Everyone thought it was. I had it on the wrong speed. This is normal. I think we just like fucked up our heads for a minute, right? I didn't misclick, no. I have to put it back. Yeah, this is normal. Oh my god. Why is it a gunshot every time they hear the- Welcome. I am Michael. I take care of the place while the master is away. So what? So, tar so Targo was just a visitor or something a, a while back or something? Uh, wait, what? That's actually the worst movie I've ever seen. The. Uh, <laughs> Go back and get the good ending. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was um, that was by far, uh, like one of the most miserable experiences I've ever had. 
Right? I like, feel like it really kind of was. <laughs> I think without the Ed, Ed, and Eddie times two, I, 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 feel, I would feel bad right now. Like, I would feel, I, I, what a shit movie. Like, it was horrible. Oh my god, but that's the hardest I've laughed in a very long time. I definitely need a minute. Oh. God damn. God damn it. <clears throat> now I have to apologize for that. Uh, apologize unironically. Alright, I apologize for watching um, Manos Hands of Fate on stream. <laughs> oh. Okay. They made a sequel. I don't, I can't understand why. Uh, all right, I'm gonna take a minute. I'm gonna get some water. Let's see what else we have. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm like, I'm done. Like my body hurts. My whole, my whole head hurts. My, my stomach hurts. I kind of feel like we have to just like play some Three Stooges or something. I don't know. I feel like shit right now. Ugh. There was a point where during like the Ed, Ed, and Eddie rolling around fight sequence where like air was, oxygen wasn't going to my brain. <laughs> oh, let me, let me just get, I'm going to get some water. I'll be right back. <laughs> See you in a minute. <clears throat> uh, I'll be right back. We'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Oh my god, okay, I'm back. And I have some unfortunate news for everybody. 
Oh. My brain, I like, I have like a bad migraine. <laughs> it just like washed over me. That was like too ridiculous. Like it, it, it was like funny and it was like scary, but creepy, horrible. Oh. I, we, I, I got I planned on two more movies after this, but holy shit, we really just kind of went to a thousand there. Oh. I had to pick the oh. You had to pick the worst movie on the list. I'm I know. But here's the good thing. Here's the good thing. Uh, th th I have like ten more public domain movies, and like this, these are so much fun. I'm definitely not gonna wait like a year to do this again. This there's plenty of really like interesting, fun, crazy content. Oh, tomorrow? I no, I got plans tomorrow. I got plans tomorrow. That's why I kind of, I like really need to like shut down. But that was a bunch of fun. The first two movies were, were, were awesome. The third one, I think put me way over the edge than I should have. Oh, my nose is like stuffed. Like I, if you guys laugh really hard and like you just kind of go, your body just turns off for a little bit. And like I'm on these antib antibiotics still. That was fucking unbelievably funny. All of it. Just a wild experience. Um, I will see you guys on... Let's see. Probably f Thursday or Friday of this coming weekend. Next week. Actually, no. Probably on... Probably like Saturday or Sunday. We'll do... Uh, I've done two short... Streams in a row. Actually, no, I streamed for like six and a half hours yesterday. But this one was short. We'll make up for it next weekend. Keep an eye on the sus. We'll do it probably on like the 6th or the 7th. Oh. Happy Halloween, by the way. Hopefully you have a good one. Be safe. Don't be stupid, right? Take care of yourselves. And that is going to be the end. Really wanted to watch at least one more, but man, I I would I I can't really. It's all my brain is over. <laughs> it's just over. Let's go through the. Uh, I can chill for a little bit though. Let's just go through the uh, subs and everything. Play Jump King? Not right now. This time the movies won. We'll do that again, for sure. Because there's still probably like five to six more public domain movies that are kind of just wild. That are absolutely worth watching. I feel like we've got three really, really interesting ones tonight, though. Interesting, yeah. That movie was the Dark Souls of Lego games. You said this is going to be six hours long. I know. But I, there's no way I can continue to, like, talk. It would just be me muted just sitting back in the chair with a headache. I hope you had a good time, though. This last time we did this, it was a good time. And I look forward to doing it again, sooner rather than later. We also have to do the baby, um, the baby video night, whatever that was. The sensory baby videos, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know those sensory videos for babies? 
somebody said you, you should watch those and i was like all right so maybe i'll turn some on and see how i feel and like write down how i feel about them like my feelings we talked about it on yesterday's stream if you'd missed it oh i'm just a bag of shit right now thanks for watching everybody We'll see you soon. We'll see you next weekend, probably. <laughs> I just keep thinking of... There's so many thoughts that are just going through my mind. I keep thinking of Ed, Ed, and Eddie. And the skeleton that pushed the lady in the vat of... Ugh. Okay. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. Have a good week. It's time to go to bed. Good night. Happy Halloween. Take care of yourselves. Thank you.